Public Services are urging Gotham residents to stay off the roads and in their homes tonight in light of the severe winter storm that has banished island Bruce. You've been back for almost two years now. You can't expect me to believe that Gotham's the most eligible bachelor is spending another Christmas alone. You just ran out of time. Knowing that tonight we put to rest one of Gotham's most heinous and relentless killers, Julian Gregory Day. Commissioner Loeb, any comment on the rumor that it wasn't actually the cops who captured Mr. Day? There is no such thing as a Batman. Captain Gordon! Captain Gordon! Commissioner Loeb! No further questions! No further questions! All units! All units! Code 10 at Blackgate Prison. Communication is down. Possible 211. Delta 6-4, en route. Dispatch 59. Confirm Code 10. This is a breakout. Suspect identified as Black Mask. Repeat. Code 10 suspect is Black Mask. Commissioner Loeb is being held captive. Repeat, Commissioner Loeb is 701. Commissioner low before it's too late. He said he'd leave my family alone if I did what he asked. The thing is, you ain't gonna live to find out. Suck. Black Mass can't leave no loose ends lying around. What are you waiting for? If you're gonna do it, get it over with. Hey, it's not every day you get to kill a warden. I'm gonna enjoy myself. No! Please! Not a call! Oh, I'll kill you, all right. But by the time I do, that eye won't be the only thing you're missing. What is that? Behind you! Oh, come on. Expect me to fall for that? I mean, try something original. What the hell are you? No! Stay away! Oh. Oh. I heard the rumors, but you, you're, you're not supposed to be real. Who tore this place apart? I don't know what it is. It's huge. Where is Black Mask? I, I don't know. He's here for Commissioner Loeb. Maybe one of his men knows where he's headed. What was I supposed to do? He threatened my family. He was going to... I don't have time to discuss this, but you and I both know that doesn't make what you did right. All I did was clear my men out of one wing. I assume Black Mask owns most of them anyway. You're the warden of this prison. You're supposed to stand up to criminals, not let them push you around. Look, I just want to go home to my family. What was I supposed to do? He threatened my family. He was going to... I don't have time to discuss this, but you and I both know that doesn't make what you did right. He got what's coming to him. Where the hell you care? Ain't like you getting out of here anytime soon. I got friends on the outside. What's it do you? Well, who says whomever they replace him with won't be any better? Can't be worse. He, uh, 
You can't get to us in here, right? Oh, crap. What's he doing here? That's what you call a left hook? Nah, that's just a distraction. <clears throat> oh, damn. That's the left hook, buddy. That is someone I got a score to settle with. It's the bat. These are Black Mask's men. I'll make them tell me where I can find Black Mask. And now come this- to make you talk. How much pain you endure before that is in your hands. Screw you! I don't have time for this. Okay, okay. He said it to the execution chamber. <laughs> With lobe. Smart move. Now you get to take a nap. Grapple gun to get over this gate. into this mess in the first place. Don't hurt me! Please! Attention inmates. Anyone who has seen the criminal black mask or his subordinates Weak. I can use my explosive gel to break through. My explosive gel can blow a hole through this weak area of the floor. See, crime doesn't pay. Someone ought to check the good police commissioner's pockets. Because they are lying with my money. And what have I got to show for, huh? My own men and the slammer? I'm almost moved. So tonight, 
We're making some changes! Some big changes. You're a dead man walking, love! Let's clear this place of guards so he can make a clean escape. You could do that. Me? I'm out of here. Knocking over the first liquor store I see. You don't stand a chance on your own. We gotta stick together. Clear out the guards and then make a break for him. He ain't going alone. I'm going with him. Yeah, me too. I could use a drink. So this is where we part ways. Whoever's coming with me, I got the first round. Whoever's helping out Black Mask, good luck. See you never. I didn't sign up. Julian, that could be useful. Uh, sir, what do we do about Loeb? Bring him in, bring him in. What's all this about, Sionis? Haven't I always come through for you? You may have, Julian, but uh, things have changed. We're starting with a clean slate. And you're not on it. What are you talking about? I'm not on it? After all I've done for you. You can't do this! I'm a police commissioner, damn it! <laughs> Show's over, boys. <laughs> Too late. Commissioner Loeb is dead. Black Mask has a lot to answer for. It's the best! We're never getting out of here! We got I'm the bad kid!
send. I know I caught yours. <laughs> Going. The boss of me is me. You want teeth? I want answers. Wait till Black Mask's assassins get through with you. What assassin? <laughs> Whoever wins is gonna be famous. thing is a bat. Huh? Are you back for the night, sir? Or shall I warm up Christmas dinner? No. It's going to be a long night, Alfred. I just ran into a human-shaped crocodile told me Black Mask has hired assassins to kill me. Assassins, sir. As in more than one. That's right. And you heard this from the mouth of a crocodile man. His name is Killer Croc. He's already behind bars. Oh, I pity his cellmate. I don't. Let's see what else is on the drone's hard drive. Each of them gets one of these envelopes. I need them delivered tonight. 
They're all hired killers, the best in the business. Black Mask isn't messing around. Slade Wilson, Deathstroke. Former military, subject of a failed medical experiment. Failed, you say? Garfield Lins, AKA Firefly, burns on 90% of his body. His obsession is going to be his end. How unlike anyone I know. Here's a face I don't recognize, Copperhead. Strange, these reports reference a male, not a female. 14 escapes, huh? Well, you won't forget not a... What the... Floyd Lawton, AKA Deadshot. Freeze! Says here he's an expert sharpshooter. How on earth? Suspected of many assassinations. Dangerous, but reckless. Street tough named Lester Baczynski. Calls himself Electrocutioner. Shocking. Shiva. Her skill is unmatched. Is that Warden Joseph? Must be how Black Mask got inside the prison. He uses torture for intimidation and entertainment. Eight assassins after your head. What are you going to do? I'm going to find out who is operating this drone. Make them tell me what they know. Then I'm going to find Black Mask and put an end to this. Sir, I may be stating the obvious here, but you do realize that since you and I are the only people who know the Batman's true identity, those assassins will all fail their mandate if you'd just spend the evening here. They'll put innocents in danger to attract my attention. I can't take that risk. And you think it's a better idea to just put yourself in their crosshairs? There's only one person in Gotham who can get his hands on something like this. The Penguin. He's been tracking Black Mask. Its next waypoint was a rendezvous with Penguin's men at Jezebel Plaza. I'll make them talk. You're sure this is wise, sir? I know what I'm doing. Well, in case you change your mind and want to train tonight instead, I'll keep your training facility active. The Batwing is prepped. Sir, to make your travels easier, I went ahead and set up some auto-nav points at different areas of the city. One of my preset destinations should take you right to Jezebel Plaza. Listen to you, you need a bad career change. True, true. 
But after the night, they might have some openings. Oh, no, please. Don't kill us. We'll see what that weirdo hires has to say about that. What the? Grab the hostages! You, you seeing this? What the hell is it? I am messing around. Move it! I can drop smoke pellets to conceal my movements. I need to get up and out of danger. He can't shoot what he can't see. Attacking head-on is a good way to get myself shot, and probably the hostage, too. But they won't expect an attack from above. Nobody ever does. Is that thing out there with you? Are you crazy? We were answering a service call, that's it? You better not be lying to me. I quit. Ah! What the hell was that? You think it's the guy that hired us? You piss him off or something? No way. Besides, I don't get the sense that he's the uh, physical guy. Either way, we need to get the hell out of here. Now! Get yourself to safety, and call the police. They'll want to see what's going on here. Okay, I will. This was just supposed to be a service call. Fix the tower, in and out. I need a new job. Whoever you are, nobody has to die here. Just walk away! I'll keep a lookout. I can, I can fix the tower. Whatever you want, just... Please don't hurt me. All I want is for you to get yourself to safety. I think this tower malfunction is from storm damage. I need to set up a crime scene and find out what happened. And I should start by identifying the victim. The victim's name is David Shannon, a Gotham Optics employee sent here to repair a faulty network tower. But what killed him? Scanning the DNA impact on the wall should provide an answer. Impact analysis indicates the victim was killed by some kind of explosion originating at that access panel. I should scan it for additional clues. It looks like the panel was rigged to detonate when swiped with a key card. Someone really didn't want this tower repaired. And it looks like that same someone left a set of fingerprints behind. Alfred, I'm uploading some prints for analysis. Let me know what comes back. Certainly, sir. Searching now. And here we are. They belong to one John F. Baker. He's a rather unremarkable criminal. Small jobs, mostly. And they... Hmm. That's curious. What's curious? Mr. Baker's dead, sir. His body was recovered from the Diamond District just under an hour ago. Looks like someone's tying up loose ends. I can bypass the booby-trapped access panel with my cryptographic sequencer, but I'll need the encryption codes from the victim's access card. Reviewing the crime scene will show me where it is. This card has the codes I need to hack any of the network tower's access panels.
Alfred, contact the GCPD. Let them know about the body. Send the data from my analysis, too. Certainly, sir. Does this mean you found the source of the disturbance? I think so. Well, well, if it isn't the King Thug himself. Figured it was only a matter of time before you showed up. Sorry about the mess downstairs. Who is this? Think of me as a great big mystery, one you're never going to solve. Enigma, then. Oh, you must think you're so clever. Well, how's this for clever? I've taken control of towers all over the city. As long as they're active, your bat wing's useless. And it looks like it's gonna stay that way. I mean, this one's practically begging to be taken offline, and you still can't hack it. Pun intended, of course. Black Mask's not going to like this. What are you talking about? Wouldn't you like to know? With the jammer offline, I can travel here with the Batwing. Those relays are part of a distributed security system. I wonder what they're protecting. That must be where Enigma set up shop. I need to pay him a visit. I see you've regained control of the Batwing, sir. I suppose it's off to Jezebel Plaza, then. That's the plan. Then I've also got a lead on Enigma. Well, don't overthink it too much, sir. We both know you'll eventually wind up doing both. Time. I should head for Jezebel Plaza. All units, if you are 10 10, please report in. I have no advice. That looks like the crime in progress the GCP dispatcher just mentioned. I could go investigate, perhaps stop the crime, but I also need to get to the arms deal at Jezebel Plaza. Try to keep a low profile tonight, sir. Trust me, I'll take out those assassins before they even know I'm there. It's not just that. If some curious child looks out to see who's pattering across their rooftop, they'll expect Santa Claus, not a black-clad bat creature. I don't patter. <sighs>
looks like I'm the first one here. I need to find a spot where I can stake this place out unnoticed. Penguin. Not a dime changes hands in this city he can't tell you about. If anyone knows where Black Mask and his assassins are, it's him. But Penguin's hard to find. His men are doing a deal here. I'll make them talk. Guys! <laughs> so, little boys, what do you want for Christmas? Oh, wait. I already know. Now, let's see if you've been naughty or... Oh, ho, 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 ho. Penguin. I don't know. Where is he? I swear. Damn. Wake up. on my comm systems. Is that on your side? No, sir. I'm seeing it as well. It's from the nearby GCR tower. It's the same signal jamming the Batwing's auto nerve systems. I've highlighted the tower on your map. I'll need to stop that signal before I can track down the Penguin. Available. Sending them out in priority order. Crap. I forgot my pick. 
pin number. Guess I'll just improvise. I don't think it's fair that I've got a pinch in the my weapons from the power. nicely, I'd have opened it for you. Congratulations are in order. Maybe you're not as stupid as I've been led to believe. Why are you doing this, Enigma? Direct. I like it. So, I'll tell you. Gotham sullied. It's filled with brutes who control this city through violence and intimidation. You didn't answer my question. Because you didn't let me finish! <clears throat> I want to get rid of them, Batman, to improve Gotham's intellectual and moral standing. But I'm not a thug like you. My approach is a bit more... refined. What you're doing is no different than stealing. There's nothing refined about it. <laughs> Your response is as predictable as it is banal. Goodbye. Now I can access the SIM card I took from that arms dealer and hack Penguin's communications. The Penguin's pretty pissed off about the deal going south. Yeah, if I was involved in that, I'd be on my way out of the city. Alfred, I'm reading a signal from Penguin's men, but it's not associated with any known wireless frequency. Ah, yes, I see it here. Looks like Penguin runs his own private wireless network, using laptop transmitters serving as ad hoc comm stations. He's feeding his men frequencies via two-way radio. There are two of these comm stations near your position. Good. Mark them on my map. If I can find and hack those walkie-talkies, I can triangulate Penguin's position.
martial arts techniques on how to defend yourself from an attack. Defend yourself? You're just gonna stand there and defend yourself while the other guy wails on you? <laughs> you won't last two rounds. Well, they say best offense is a good defense. Oh, yeah? Who said that? You little league coach? This is bare knuckle brawling. You'll get knocked on your ass if you can't strike. <laughs> I swear, this is why we get guard duty in the middle of the spawn of the century. Because you're such a dumbass. Find the next comm station, then I'll be able to triangulate Penguin's position. Then mess with our shipment, like saving his own ass. So next time you want to make up a story, you better hope the person you're telling to is dumber than you are. Oh no wait, that's right. There ain't no one dumber than you! Mr. Cobblepot, I swear it was the bat. He dropped Ricky off the roof of the clock tower straight into the Christmas tree. I don't care what you think you saw. If you're not back here with my money in the next ten minutes, I'll cut your damn eyeballs out. And then you won't have to worry about seeing nothing ever again. Is that clear? Yes, Mr. Cobblepot. I'm sorry, Mr. Cobblepot. I just don't get it. What did we do wrong? Do wrong? Think about it, man. All year round, ain't no one's guarding these comm stations. Then, all of a sudden, on the coldest night of the year, we got stand guard. Hey, the reason we're out here. after what happened tonight at Jezebel Plaza. But just there to show you are. what a nice on guy I am, the, the fights are still on. So get yourself down to the ship right now if you want in on this. I'll Penguin's been hiding out on an old course. ship. No okay, wonder he's been so hard to find. Wait for laggers. Silently take out these snipers.
Cut, Batman. Looks like someone brought a bat to a knife fight. Make you move. Tournament. That's where I need to go. What's he doing here? Surround him! without me. God knows you can do it. I've got some business to take care of in the office, and I don't want to be disturbed. 
Tracy will be ready to fight till I get back. Sounds like Penguin will be in his office. Tracy should know where that is. I'll make her talk. you jack a little more pressure and i'll crush your larynx what's it going to be all right all right uh, he's in this office the only way in is through the theater on the other side of the casino but you'll never get past tracy tracy is not a problem that worked better than the last interrogation Mr. Cobblepot finishes with his guest, 
I can't say I'll miss it. What do you think he'll call it? Final offer two? Point. Well, maybe a new name's good luck. <laughs> we could use it. Especially if the back is something. Ambush! on this ship. Yeah, who'd think to break into this thing? <laughs> All part of Penguin's plan, I'm sure. Question is, can Tracy stop him before he gets to the boss? I ain't that worried about it. Tracy? She knows what she's doing. She's tough, ain't she? Oh, on everything but the eyes. put out a strong electromagnetic pulse. If you can isolate the signal, I'll be able to track him down. I'll get to work on that. Where are you off to now? I'm on my way to the final offer's casino. I'm going to make Penguin's assistant show me to her boss. The casino. Penguin's assistant must be nearby. I'll make her tell me where I can find Cobblepot's office. Is your passport? It must be Vince. He's always forgetting stuff. Should I go bring it to him? Are you serious? We gotta move this cash before the bat gets here. Right, right. Hey, you thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking you should shut the hell up and pack the money. But there's so much. He ain't gonna miss it if I just take a little Christmas bonus. You hear about the last guy who lifted a few bucks? Penguin told him he could work it off. At the bottom of the harbor. Hey, I was just asking. Less asking, more packing. is controlled from that security room.
I just told her I was working for Swifty, and there weren't the damn things she could do about it. Like that, huh? Yeah, like that. Even when she's making enough, she can tell me what to do. Yeah, you're right. Can't let him get the upper hand. Let's kill this son of a bitch! guy's probably scared them off. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling better. Where the hell's my mascot, damn it? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Send herself a dry slap, she has. That better be lip gloss you're reaching for. Oi! You can't do this! I'm claustrophobic, I am! Come on! Enough's enough! Open her up and let me out! I knew you didn't have what it takes to fight me fair!
What do you want? I didn't do nothing. Who's your boss? What does Penguin want with him? Alberto Falcone. But I got no idea what Penguin wants with him, I swear. I don't know what your game is, but old man Falcone will be in your debt if you take Cobblepot down. He's right through that door back there. No thanks. I don't need the Falcones in my debt. Mr. Falcone's gonna kill me if I don't get Alberto home alive. Mr. Falcone's gonna kill me if I don't get Alberto home alive. Now, where were we? Candy. You suggested little Alberto over here. Hey, baby. Try to convince his father to take early retirement. He disagreed and called you a, let's see, psychotic little bastard. No, 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 please! <laughs> <laughs> now you best listen, Falcone. Because this is the last time I'll ask. Are you gonna tell your father? That we're getting out of the weapons business. I promise. I'll make him do it. <laughs> I see your lips flapping, Bernie. But they ain't making the sound I wanna hear. You idiots better kill me. Please! Ooh. and if it with a grudge, you're not a popular bloke in this town. You're running out of time. Wait, wait. <coughs> Lacey Towers. There was a murder. It was supposed to be his same house. But, or Black Man. He's got problems of his own, I'd say. Someone broke in there. <laughs> It appears the game is over before it even begins. I'm not playing games, Slade. Tell me where I can find Black Mask. Vigilantism? A waste of your talent. Not that it matters now. Music. 
speak. Seeing you, Batman. Feel free to let yourself out. <laughs> I can't let Penguin get away. There's more I need to ask him. Deathstroke's device to get up to the balcony. <laughs> you have more luck getting into a nun's skivvies than getting into this room. Go on, then. Beat it a bit harder. Really make me feel it. Well, as you can see, I got the answer. Have a Merry Christmas, and piss off. <laughs> Alfred, see if you can find any information on a murder at Lacey Towers. Hmm, looks like the police are on the scene now, sir. Oh, and this is interesting. They're saying Black Mask is the victim. Black Mask dead. I'm on my way there now. The remote claw I took from Deathstroke could be useful here. Alfred, get GCPD to take a look at the final offer. More to Dixon Docks. They'll find Slade Wilson tied up and waiting for them, along with some of Penguin's illegally obtained weapons. Uh, another anonymous tip? Will do, sir. A 
Oppressed citizens of Gotham, your cries for help have been heard. I am anarchy, voice of the people, here to save you from the plague of corruption that now infests this once proud city. Those hired and elected to keep us free and safe won't lift a finger. And why would they? They've been bought and paid for, encouraged to turn a blind eye. If they won't act, I will. At dawn's first light, the sources of Gotham's ruin will be destroyed. Now, back to your regularly scheduled programming of propaganda and consumerist garbage. As if there isn't enough going on tonight. I should hurry to Lacey Towers before the cops destroy all the evidence from the crime scene Penguin mentioned. I was hoping you get a minute of your time. See, I've got a story to tell you about crime and violence, greed and vengeance. But it's also a story of redemption, of second chances, of change. I've planted three bombs where Gotham's corruption is at its strongest. But unlike those I fight to overthrow, I believe in choice. So, I offer you one. Let them detonate, or stop them. Your actions will determine what I do with you. Hey, miss. Over here. I've planted three bombs where Gotham's corruption is at its strongest. But unlike those I fight to overthrow, I believe in choice. So, I offer you one. Let them detonate. Whoa, whoa, easy now. I ain't looking for a fight. Got a message, that's all. Anarchy says if you're gonna make a withdrawal, you better do it soon. I've got a story to tell you. I've planted three bombs where Gotham's corruption is at its strongest. But unlike those I fight to overthrow, I believe in choice. So, I offer you one. Let them detonate or stop them. Your actions will determine what I do with you. A crime and violence. I've planted th greed and vengeance. But it's also a story of redemption. A second chance. Homicide unit, please respond to 187 in the Bowery. Officers on scene report victim appears to have fallen from a nearby building. Once the money's gone, we'll have a new system. A better one. They say money makes the world go round, but it also makes for excellent shackles. You're tied to your job, your mortgage, your need to buy the next shiny thing your overpriced television seduces you. Imagine what they could accomplish if only someone would set us free. Alfred, we've got a problem. So 
though I saw. This anarchy fellow mentioned three bombs, which means two still remain. I need to find them. I've no doubt you will, sir. Investigating this crime should have a relay station set up. It'll look like a mobile satellite dish, probably on a rooftop. You want some police? I'll be at a disadvantage if I can't tap into the cops' communications. I should hack their mobile relay station. Rubio, what's your 20? On the balcony for a smoke with a menace. Those men on the balcony, that could be my way in. Shut case. Penguin murdered Black Mask and his lady friend. I mean, we found the bastards and left little fingerprints right by the body. Yeah, we got Penguin now. Like to see him score him out of this one. Fingerprints, two dead bodies. He's about to do some time. Yeah, except forensics will take all the credit. And I'm the one who found the prints. That's why they call it first response. First pickings on the loot, but none of the glory. Me, I take the loot over the glory any day. You're going down! Police believe Penguin murdered Black Mask, but why would he send me here if he was the killer? It doesn't add up. This crime took place days ago. The fire and the exposure to the elements make identifying the victims difficult. The male victim is wearing a black mask, but I can't positively identify him as Roman Sionis without a DNA analysis. Something I can't do in the field. I can identify the female victim based on her fingerprints. Tiffany Ambrose, Roman Sionis' girlfriend, or one of them at least. She was no angel, long list of priors, but nothing to indicate she was the target here. The fire spread as a result of a Molotov cocktail thrown into the room. It may have been intended to destroy evidence. The shallow trajectory of the bullet suggests the shooter could be someone of Penguin's height. But the grooves on the floor suggest that the victim was killed by someone leaning back in a chair. This bullet was fired from a revolver. Ballistics analysis indicates a low angle of trajectory. The shooter could have been someone of Penguin's height, but the pattern in the gunpowder residue suggests the bullet was actually fired by someone lying on the ground. These fingerprints are a match for the Penguin, but they're on top of the soot from the fire. The cops were right. Penguin was in the room these prints prove he was here after the murders were committed. If he didn't kill Black Mask, who did? The only thing I know for certain is that Tiffany's shooter was lying on the floor. But why? These white streaks are shoe polish. Whoever shot Tiffany was being dragged along the floor. Besides the victims, there were two other people in the room. Tiffany's shooter and whoever was dragging the shooter. 
The location from which the male victim was shot may tell me more. The DNA here doesn't belong to either of the victims. Whose is it? The fight broke out when someone startled the shooter. It's not clear who won the fight. It could have been either one of them. I should review the evidence to see if I can learn anything more about either the intruder or the shooter. Fabric analysis indicates the intruder was wearing a white suit or sport jacket. This fabric swatch could help identify the intruder, but I still can't identify the male victim's shooter. There's one impact area I haven't checked for clues. This DNA is from the female victim. The level of oxidation suggests it's been here for several days. If I review the evidence, I may be able to find out what she was doing when she was attacked. She was sending text messages to Roman Sionis about someone named the Joker. Someone killed Black Mask, but this crime took place several days ago. And I saw Black Mask earlier tonight. The only answers I have raise more questions. Who is the Joker? Was he the killer here? Or is he one of the assassins? I have a body, an unknown shooter, and an unknown assailant who attacked the shooter. I need to match the DNA samples against the records in the National Criminal Database to identify who was in the room. Alfred, I need access to the National Criminal Database. Well, the only way to do that would be to infiltrate the Gotham City Police Department. Then that's where I'm going. Sir, you'd need to physically hack into their servers. If you insist on doing something that foolish, you'll need a powerful non-lethal weapon. I recommend coming back here to pick up your concussion detonator. Not a bad idea. Done with you. Welcome home, sir. The concussion detonator is on your workbench. Remember, if you use that instead of your fists, you'll do less lasting damage to those police officers and civil servants. Noted. Well played, sir. You stopped the electrocutioner with a single strike. I just used his arrogance to my advantage. A textbook move a child could have avoided. True, but I doubt the rest of them will go down as easily. If they do, we'll be eating that Christmas ham sooner than you think. What's the latest? You know everything I do, sir. I assume we won't be unwrapping presents in the morning. I've done my best to keep the cave tidy, but with those bats circling above... It's bound to be collateral damage. Do keep an eye out. Your detective work tonight is most impressive, Master Bruce. A shame it couldn't be of the armchair variety. Well, this is turning out to be quite the Christmas Eve, isn't it? Since when did masks become de rigueur for aspiring crime lords? Well, this is turning out to be quite the Christmas Eve, isn't it?
come in, 82. Dispatch, Delta 44. Can you raise Delta 82? Stand by, 44. Delta 82. Delta 82, come in. Delta 82, come in. Delta 82, report. Delta 44, no response from 82. Please proceed inside to confirm 82 status. 10 4 dispatch. We gotta shut them down to shut them up. Otherwise, we'll never be free. I've planted three bombs where Gotham...
right, you know. Cops don't care about us. We'd be better off without them. But you already knew that, didn't you? you did about the places I targeted, you spared them. Sorry to disappoint you. Disappoint me? Not at all. Come on down to the courthouse so we can continue Gotham's trial. I've planted three bombs where Gotham's cor- I'm so glad you came. It's an honor, really. There's so much for us to discuss. What do you want? I'd like to propose an alliance. I think the two of us could accomplish great things together. I don't work with criminals. You need to turn yourself in. Tell you what. I'll turn myself in as soon as you do the same. But you don't consider yourself a criminal, do you? The suit, the gadgets, the sense of entitlement. Just another rich kid atoning for his fiscal sins. Such a shame. I'll knock you down.
Not quite. We are the men! We'll burn for what you've done! We can't be... Leave them alone! Ah. We own you then? Is that it? I won't let you win! Alright, that's it! All of us? Think we've been off one way to chew? What are you... Get it! We're on the same side here! This will be... I asked for discourse! We built that, man! You're just a kid. So? What does it matter? I wanted to make a difference. I thought you'd feel the same. I do, but not like this. A lot of innocent people almost died tonight because of you. Innocent? They watched as Gotham went to hell and didn't do a thing! They're just afraid. No, they're weak! And so are you. The police are on their way. I wonder how things got to be so bad here. I do. All the time. See, I don't think men like Roman Sionis or Oswald Cobblepot are responsible. They're just a reflection of our apathy, our greed, our fear. We look the other way when things turn sour, bury ourselves in our jobs, consume propaganda masquerading as entertainment. The message is always the same. Don't think, don't question. And what becomes of a society that's given up? It rots. Fills up with liars, cheaters, and thugs. Uptown and downtown. The suit in the penthouse is no better than the guy selling drugs in the corner. They're both doing whatever it takes to get ahead. Never mind the cost. Fidelity. Once upon a time, that's what defines society. People coming together in pursuit of common cause. To care for each other to protect and provide. We took shelter from the darkness and the things that roamed it. Community meant progress, but now it's all backwards. We worship at the altar of competition. We build fortresses around ourselves. We fight, we betray. We have become the things we feared. You keep cleaning up after everyone, Batman, and no one's going to learn to take care of themselves. The ones that don't hate you, they'll start to rely on you, depend on you. And if something happens to you, if you get old or bored or die, then what? Or do you not consider the world that revolves around you? You're a hypocrite, running around dispensing justice, telling people what they can and can't do. You're ensuring Gotham's freedom, provided it conforms to your twisted view. Whatever pleases the bad. That it? You're not a hero. You're a despot. You don't enforce justice. You suppress it. There's a way to make this work. D to show you that we share the same goals. Maybe I took things too far with the bombs and the threats. I, I, I can learn from that. I mean, you could be a mentor to me. And maybe, well, maybe I can teach you something too. Because... I think you're so busy playing hero, you've forgotten what it's like for the rest of us. We're not all as strong as you. We don't have the fancy gadgets, the, the strength, the skill. But, but, but maybe that's the problem. You've gotten so used to the power, you think you're better than everyone. Above reproach. Is that it then? We're not as good as you? You know what? I take it back. I don't want to work with you. You don't have anything to offer. I think I figured it out. You didn't take me down because I broke the law. No. 
No, no, you took me down because you don't want the competition. That's what this is really about, isn't it? Let me ask you something. You ever wonder if you're the reason the city's so messed up? Because I have. A lot of us have. And I'm starting to think we're right. another water pipe bursting. Love to go take a look, but, you know, my ship's over. Lobe. Lobe understood. This the won't be easy, but if I'm going to access the yeah, National Criminal Database and find out what happened at Lacey Towers, I need to find the server room without being discovered. There's 
eight assassins in town tonight. From the info we've been gathering, they're among the most dangerous criminals on record. Period. After interrogating Whalem Jones, we've learned that they're all competing for a huge bounty, which Black Mask has offered for the head of the bat. Where do I sign up? <laughs> no, I thought he was a ghost. I all right, cut the, the chatter, was people. Myth. Our goal is to ensure order in this city. So our number one priority becomes bringing in the bat before these assassins get to him. Now, the closer it gets to morning, the more desperate the assassins will grow. And if he's still out there, the more damage they'll cause to the city as they try to find or attract him. All right, dismissed. Yeah, well, they were supposed to be guarding the crime scene, not Gavin. No wonder the bat got the drop on him. Yeah, tell them to keep their eyes open next time. Must you be so brutal, sir? These are city employees. They're as corrupt as they come, and they're in my way. I wish you'd think twice about that approach, sir. You never know when you might need their help. At any rate, your objective is the GCPD server room. I've marked it on your map. <laughs> Man, I hate the homeless. <laughs> Serve some Man, money. We got a 10 foot <laughs> one. Oh, yeah! Right in the jaw! I told you it's already. What I saw is what I saw. What are you on? Uh, I dumped in clean three days. Like they said, things swooped down out of nowhere. Huge wings and claws. They're like booties, dog things. Paralyze those bastards. <laughs> Paralyzing dark things? What, you think I'm a schmuck, huh? I look like a schmuck to you? No, no. <laughs> I ain't saying that. Oh, he's definitely on something. I got a guy in lockup who can sell whatever he's carrying. Yeah, yeah, in a minute. He's gotta get his story straight first. Now, let's go through it again. stand a chance against that many armed men. I can use Deathstroke's remote claw to pass above their heads undetected. All right, listen up. While you, listen up. While you jokers were playing cleanup for the Black Gate, I was making us some money. I worked out a deal with our pal Black Mask. If any of us can kill the bat before the assassins get to him, we get the bounty. All 50 million dollars of it. And for those of you who ain't too good with the math, that means we all retire early. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Let's take him down, then. Yeah. What are we waiting for? Enough! We only get one night to get this done. So whatever they put you on tonight, I want you to blow it off. Finding and killing the bat is your number one priority. That clear? Yes, sir. All clear. Clear as day, sir. You got it. Sir, yes, sir. Questions? Shout them out. What about the assassins? Do they see us as competition? Yeah. yeah. I didn't sign up to be on those guys. Here. Wait, Brandon. The black man will keep his end of the deal. You killed the guy. He's good for the cash. Trust me. I know where he's stashed. You know where he's got it.
then we treat him like any other scumbag. We can't find dirt and make our own. I'm listening. What if Captain Gordon allowed all the perps in the holding cells to go free? You mean we set him loose? Little prison riot right here in GCPD makes him look like he doesn't have control, right? I like it. How do we make it happen? Let me think a minute. Still thinking. Calm down. What does this disruptor of yours do? Little bit of this, little bit of that. Mostly, though, it does a whole lot of none of your damn business. Oh, you want to play it like that? All right. Maybe I'll have the guys over at Evidence Lockup take a look. They can get kind of rough, though. Hope it's not fragile. You want to play hardball, buddy? How's about I tell my cousin at the Gazette about the payments you boys been extorting from Penguin and the like? Scum like you's got a cousin at the Gazette. <laughs> you expect me to believe that? Don't see you calling evidence lockup, now do I? You cops are all the same. You ain't getting nothing out of me. Like I said, I got all night. <laughs> Not you again! Talk, or you won't be walking anywhere, ever. No way! You gotta answer for dropping me off that rooftop, buddy! No, you have to answer to me. How does this disruptor work? Ask one of the pigs! They got it in evidence lockup! How about we take a little walk up to the roof? Okay, okay, you win! It, it jams weapons, overrides electronic locks, all right? Now you gotta let me go! How'd that work out for you last time? We got right. Who told you that, huh? Your buddy Anarchy? He will wipe this city clean of your filth. Yeah? If he's gonna wipe things clean, he should start with you. <laughs> Good one. Who the hell did he just do? yourself to a shelter. You kidding? That's where they round us up. Hey, you don't get it. Anarchy gets it, but you? Hey, you don't get it, man. Send the tape to the press. What the hell am I supposed to do? That's the best you got? How am I gonna whack him if I don't know who he is? Guy's a mystery, complete friggin' enigma. Yeah, great advice. Thanks. Ready! <gasps> Repeat, I already have a criminal that you let walk free. 
He is the worst kind of criminal. The kind who thinks their actions are justified. Who acts completely outside the system. The system is broken. Barbara, wait. riding on this, so I don't want to hear any excuses. Bag the bat and let's get paid. You'd think with the number of skulls we crack, punks would think twice about messing with us. In the station, no <laughs> Why's that? Ain't you heard? Brandon made a deal with Black Mask. They're trying to kill the bat and collect the bounty. You gotta be kidding me. Gordon know about this? Probably, but what's he gonna do? What can he do? Hell, he's lucky if Brandon and those guys ever listen to him. This department is so screwed. Hey, uh, how do we get in on the bounty? I'm no rookie! <sighs> security protocol I'm not familiar with, and the windows are reinforced glass. Hmm. The disruptor in the evidence locker might do the trick. Alfred, I can't access the evidence locker. I need an alternate route. The evidence locker, sir? Well, according to these schematics, it adjoins an old elevator shaft which you can access via the infirmary. You should be able to break in from there. I've added it to your map. Prison riot. You want a riot? 
let me out. Easy, Tiger. There's cameras around here. We ain't letting no one out. He's got a point. Let this lunatic loose. It'll be freaking pandemonium in here. I said, let me out. Like I said, we ain't letting no one out. There ain't no harm in telling them about that latching mechanism on the door there. That one we just had repaired? Well, to be honest, I don't know how well it was repaired. If I was you, pigs, I'd get going. We'll be out of your way soon enough. Infirmary. Now look for an entrance to an old elevator shaft. That will take you to the evidence locker. Got it. I should be able to bypass the security on the server room door. I don't understand. You let him out just to beat him up? I didn't start the riot. 
It was Brandon and his SWAT officers. Brandon. Taking a few bucks here and there is no big deal, but those guys don't know when to quit. You could do the right thing. Turn them in. And end up dead? Yeah, no thank you. I need access to the National Criminal Database. It's right here. You must spend a lot of time here. Cool poem box. You're bypassing the network security. Hmm. But you'll need to physically bridge the intranet to the external telecom wires if you want to uplink remotely. This kind of knowledge could get a young girl into a lot of trouble. They run under the building. What does? The telecom wires. You can access them through the sewers. Wait. Why do you do what you do? Because I made a promise. Get out of here! <laughs> Alfred, I'm on my way out, but before I can access the server remotely, I need to hack into the telecom wires under the GCPD. You should be able to access them from the sewers which run below the building. I'll peg the closest entrance on your map. Sir, they say the map doesn't have a map. Penguin's man said the disruptor can be used to jam their weapons. Sir, yes sir! <laughs> What else have you got? you, but you need to stay out of my way. Uh, never! Listen, I'm on your side. My side? My side works within the law. My side doesn't leave suspects with broken bones and missing teeth. We've earned Gotham's respect. If that were true, I wouldn't believe you. Gordon, clear the line of fire! Hold your fire! 
If he moves, take him down. You've got nowhere to run. Move, Gordon! I'm taking him down! You could have made this easy! I've highlighted a nearby manhole on your map. Those sewer tunnels lead directly under the GCPD. Good work, Alfred. Oh, and, sir, do try to keep out of the uh, muck down there. Remember who has to clean your suit. Uh, hello? Hello, Batman? It's Barbara. Sorry for uh, hacking into your comms, but I need a favor. Some evidence crates have gone missing. Army grade stuff, and no one here is doing anything about it. So I'm sending you their GPS location information. Use your weapon disruptor on any crates you find. It'll fry their circuits and render the stuff useless. That's who we're looking for! Strange. These are Black Mask's men. Not the kind of guys I'd expect to find around in the sewers. Could be worse. At least he sent an expert martial artist to protect us down here. <laughs> protect us from what? The rats? No, the bats, you idiot. The bat. The bats got better things to do tonight than hang out in the sewers. I hope you're right. But just in case, I'm glad we got all Kung Fu on our side. And whatever makes you feel I'm just worried about how I'm gonna get this snot on my clothes. Boss is making some big moves tonight. Yeah, we gonna remind people why Black Mask is the name to be feared in Gotham City. You sound like an insurance commercial. What? Wait, with us? No. With us. Hey, I'm buying the boss 100%. I just don't see how all the crap he's got us doing tonight is gonna put any money in our pockets. I'm sure he's got his reasons. I ain't about to ask for the yard. Me neither.
I'm under the GCPD. Why are black masks and men planting explosives here? The cops have always been on his payroll. I almost feel bad for him. Almost. <laughs> you would need both. Confirm we now have access to the National Criminal Database. Connection confirmed. You can now perform DNA analysis. I'm also sending over the police file for the Lacey Towers case. This photo is from the day of the murder. It's a perfect match. The DNA tells more of the story. But here's something the police overlooked. Roman Sionis owns the Gotham Merchants Bank. And he installed biometric security only he could access. Alfred, I have enough information to solve the Lacey Towers case. Here's what happened. By now, Gotham PD thinks Roman Sionis is dead. The casualty of a turf war. Murdered by the Penguin. But I know better. Someone spooked Sionis' girlfriend. So he sent her to his safe house. Which was anything but safe. Sionis showed up later ready for trouble, and found it. Or so it seemed. Roman's always been paranoid. It's probably why he's lasted this long. He'd sent in a decoy, giving himself the element of surprise. But it wasn't enough. There was a fight. Sionis lost. 
The killer didn't hesitate to shoot the decoy, but he wanted Roman alive to access the cash stored at the Gotham Merchants Bank. With Sionis under control, all that remained was to tie up loose ends. But it wasn't the fire that killed Sionis' girlfriend. What kind of monster forces a man to kill the ones he loves? The Joker. He's the shadow I've been chasing. And now I know where he's going next. Gotham Merchants Bank. Alfred, see if you can find any information on someone named the Joker. Searching now, sir. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be anything coming up. What do you know about him? Not much. But he's taken Black Mask hostage. Hostage? So, Sionis isn't dead? I don't think so. From what I can tell, he's worth more to the Joker alive. The Joker wants to use him to break into the Gotham Merchant's bank. I'm on my way there now. You were very cordially, cordially, cordially. You were very cordially invited to a party. And it will be a grand affair. Grand affair. Grand affair. And it will be a grand affair hosted by the Hatter. We do hope that you can come. You can come. You can come. We do hope that you can come to share in all the joy. Greetings and salutations, Batman. I am Jervis Ketch, inventor, entrepreneur, and part-time haberdasher. You must be wondering why it is I sought you out. Well, I have an employment opportunity I'd like to discuss with you. Help me! Please! If you can hear this, he's going to... <laughs> oh, don't mind Alice. Poor dear, her mind is all a flutter, and who can blame her after all she's been through? But I'll have her right as rain soon enough. Don't you worry about that. Greetings and salutations, Batman. I am Jervis Tetch, inventor, entrepreneur, and part-time haberdasher. You must be wondering why it is I sought you out. Well, I have an employment opportunity I'd like to discuss with you.
Understand, sir. Yes. No, sir. Of course. Oh, this is maddening. I'll have to look into refining the neural interface. Well, the good news, the best news, really, is that it works. You all listen. Maybe not as well as you should, but it's a start. That's always been the trouble, though, hasn't it? No one ever wanted to hear what Jervis had to say. He might as well have been invisible. But now... Oh, now you'll have to pay attention, because you won't have a choice. I do hope Alice is settling in, all right? an honor to make your effort. Where's the girl? What effort do you mean? Alice. Excellent. And you know why you're here. What are you talking about? Oh, perhaps we don't see eye to eye after all. Let me remedy that. Tick tock. Watch the clock. What did you do? Oh, it's when I first met Alice, you know? Oh, what grand adventures we had. But then they took her from me. Poor sweet Alice. Lost her alone. I had to find her. Had to bring her home, and so I did. It was quite the journey, let me tell you. But she's here again, safe with me. Still, the forces of the Queen are everywhere, conspiring to reclaim her, which is why I brought you here. Who better to protect Alice than the Batman himself? Well, well, you figured it out. But it taxed you, didn't it? Drained a bit of that willpower of yours, hmm? <laughs> Thoughts getting heavier? Finding it harder to maintain control? Not all flowers and tea parties down here. In fact, Wonderland's home to some rather nice creatures. And it brings out the best <laughs> and the worst in us. Don't worry, Alice is in very good hands. 
creation on their heads and just like that they're under my control the stronger willed individuals however require a bit of oh, breaking in and this my friend brings us to the here and now you are my humpty dumpty batman your mind is shattered and when i put the pieces back together <laughs> Did you know time moves in seven different directions here, but you've stuck to just one forward, always forward? Oh, how boring. So why don't we try moving back? Tell me what you see. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. He just has to leave. He can, he will. He just has to leave. He can, he will. He just has to leave. Really now, you're becoming my pet peeve. are on their way. Everything's going to be all right. No, it's not.
bodies everywhere. The Joker may still be here, in the vault. I should use caution. They're all dead. There's something more sinister going on here. You can just waltz under my bank, huh? Roman, I'm here for the Joker. The Joker? <laughs> Never heard of him. How about you, dog? Know the Joker? The who? <laughs> and you, sir? Name Joker? Ring a bell? <laughs> you son of a bitch! You think you can steal from me? I got away with it! You're a dead man. Dead! Can't you just play along? You're insane! <laughs> It's been you this whole time. You hired the assassins. You've been running Sionis's operation. Well, technically it's my operation now. Isn't that right, boys? You got me. Now let her go. Oh, life would be so simple if you were all I wanted. No, no. You're just a teeny little distraction compared to what I've got up my sleeve. <laughs> Here, have a laugh on me. <laughs> you hear that? Sounds like eight tiny reindeer. <laughs> There'd be a body. There ain't no body. I know that's Yo, yo! The Joker knows I survived the explosion. I need to hurry before he kills Sionis or anyone else. Yo, be with it. Don't hurt me. 
Stop! Where's the Joker going? Guy's nuts, man. Killed about a quarter of black masked men when they wouldn't take orders from him. Unless you want to join them, talk. He said something about the steel mill. That's Sionis's mill. <laughs> it's Joker's mill now. Ain't no way you're getting in there. I didn't ask for your opinion. Uh. Alfred, pull schematics on Sionis Industries' steel mill. Joker's taken Sionis there. He's going to kill him. Unless I get there first. This Joker sounds dangerous. He's taken over Black Mask's operations and slaughtered the men who wouldn't turn. He's the one who hired the assassins. And it must be he who ordered the bombing of the GCPD. Oh, dear lord. Shouldn't you think about letting the police handle this one? Not a chance. He's mine. That's just a consolation prize, in case you fail the test. Test? I don't have time for this. Somewhere in New Gotham, an innocent man is about to die. And we both know you won't allow that. So the question is, can you find him, Batman? Can you save him? <laughs>
Don't hurt me. Who did this to you? Th th they were all covered up. Like ninjas. Shiva. Who? Where are they now? I don't know. My partner shot one of them and split. They finished stringing me up and took off after him. You should call the precinct, have them send a car for you, then find some place to wait. Will do. Thanks! I should be able to pick up a blood trail. This should lead me to the other officer. Why did you kill him? Because you wouldn't. He was corrupt. A murderer. But there's no justice in this. What do you know of justice? Behind bars or beyond them, these people never change. As long as they live, Gotham is stained. This isn't the way. And here I thought you might understand. Still, the test must continue. Meet me at Sheldon Park. <laughs> Why did you come? Don't you have a city to save? Killed a man. Yes. A lesson that seems lost on you. And many more will die if you do not learn it. Then you'll stand trial for all of them. <laughs> I admire your passion, though your cause is flawed. Now, let us fight. <laughs>
Now let Zebra handle this. Earn your place with God. Let's test your technique. Let me show you true skill. Nope. A look. Let's see. A lesson for you. The test is ended, and with it, your life. Enough! Skilled, honorable, devoted. I see now why the Master has chosen you. It seems we have both learned something today. I don't care about you or your master. I'm bringing you in. No, you're not. But you have earned a reprieve. I hope in time you come to realize how wrong you are about Gotham. It is not meant to be saved. It cannot be saved. Only cleansed. And from the ashes, reborn. <sighs> Alfred, I'm sending you two sets of coordinates. One is for a body. The others for a survivor. Make sure they get to GCPD. Of course, Sam. Shall we consider the case closed, then? For now. I doubt tonight's the last I'll see of Shiva. One down, five to go. I can't believe there are people on the force who think it's okay to have stuff like this out on the streets. Pinching from evidence is bad enough. But selling weapons? Swat's supposed to be the good guy. Involved, but he'd probably just say it's a matter for IAD. He 
Ryan's got way too much faith in the system. I wish I could get him to see just how broken it is. I've been flipping through the precinct's file on you, and wow, let's just say you don't have a lot of fans here. But you probably knew that already. Anyway, I've trashed some of the more ridiculous stuff. I mean, they're saying you kill people. And I know that's not your style. I need any unassigned unit for special assignment. Stand by. Only two more crates to go. Thanks so much for doing this. Tonight's crazy enough already. If these guns got out there, I don't even want to think about it. That's the... <sighs> don't hurt me. I had a trouble... together is kind of fun. I mean, we're actually getting stuff done. And my dad thinks I'm just sitting in his office texting and watching TV. If only he knew. most of it, but I helped, right? I think we make a pretty good team. So if you're ever, like, 
I don't know, looking for some kind of partner? I'm here for you. Anyway, I'll let you get back to kicking ass and keeping us safe. And you'll see, one day my father's gonna figure out just how cool I already know you are. Isolated the electromagnetic signal on electrocutioner's gloves. You can track him with your scanner now. A bit late, Alfred. I'm about to get my hands on Black Mask. And maybe the Joker, too. Right. Well, it's ready to go, should you need it. is what in the hell Rocco and the guys are still doing down there. It's after midnight. They're changing the security codes and interrogating the Black Mask. That's what I heard. Oh, great. Sounds like we'll be here all night. I heard the boss tried to ice Batman at the bank, but screwed it up. Yeah, tried to blow up the bank right on top of him. Huge explosion. Almost brought down the building. Who the hell knows how the bat survived? It's like he came back from the dead. See, that's the problem with the new boss. All these theatrics. All Roman wanted Batman dead, it'd be a shot to the head and one in the chest for good measure. Pair of cement shoes and throw him in the river. Ain't no one's coming back from that. I don't care who you are. Yeah, Joker could learn a thing or two from Sionis. You want someone dead? Fill him with lead. It doesn't have to be some kind of stage. You know that. I know that. But something tells me a man who goes by the name Joker ain't gonna be learning that lesson anytime soon. I don't want trouble! Let's do it my way! You see 
what happened down there? What are you going on about now? All that guy, God. Fucking man. Then he's all frightened. I'll need to find the access code to unlock this door. Here? Yeah, he's probably out for revenge after the boss tried to walk him. that computer so I can find the security code for the door. Alfred, I'm uploading data from one of Black Mask's servers. I need codes to bypass the security door in the loading dock. Receiving it now, sir. Interesting. Cyanus had a pacemaker implanted. It says here he had prolonged QT syndrome. Anything that raises his heart rate could trigger cardiac arrest. Cyanus was having the Joker followed. These photos show him obtaining chemicals used in making explosives. If I find Cyanus, he'll know what the Joker's planning. Sir, I found the security codes you were looking for. You have access to the building now. That turret is still armed. I should disable it with my disruptor. Cyanus's files, I found reference to a chemical similar to the compound you need for your glue grenade. I'm going to try to synthesize it in our lab. If it works, I'll have a prototype for you as soon as the resin cures. Good. I'll need it. The more I learn about the Joker, the more I realize there's something very different about him. Find a way inside that room. Come on! Why are you messing with the crane? We're supposed to be locking this place down. Whatever. I'm serious. Knock it off! Okay, okay, let me shut it down. I wish you were deader than dead too! No, you got no respect! Mama always said! 
That's more like it. Examine the body for clues. No signs of assault. Huh. His system is shut down. Acute toxicity. He's been poisoned. Sionis in here somewhere. What do you say, Joe? Should we let him out? Let me get Think of it that way. Oh, wait. No, he never did. That's right. How could I have forgotten? When I get out of here, I'm gonna kill both of you. Whoa! With my own hand!
You waiting for something? Get me out of this thing. Where's the Joker? Go to hell. Wrong answer. By my count, there are still nine more ribs I can break. Do you think that'll make me talk? After what he's put me through, the torture, turned my men on me, stole from me, murdered my woman, he's my kill, not yours! I can control your pacemaker remotely. You want to see what 250 beats per minute feels like? You wouldn't. Copperhead. Tell him and I'll pay you whatever you want. Make him suffer and I'll An empty promise from a fallen king. I know about the Joker. Couple of freaks. You two deserve each other. What did you do to me? I killed you. And in a few more minutes, your body will realize it. <laughs> That's it. Use your strength. With every effort, you hasten your end. <laughs> Must scan the room for Copperhead's poison. Female perspiration. Copperhead came this way. All I need is one drop of poison. There. It's a powerful neurotoxin. Alfred, uploading analysis of a neurotoxin. I need you to synthesize an antidote. Your vitals are off the charts. What happened? Uh, never mind. Just get up to ground level so I can send in an airdrop. And after this, you're coming back here so I can have a look at you. I need to get to ground level to find the antidote. <laughs> what would your father say if he could see you now, throwing away your family's hard-earned fortune on these frivolous nightly escapades? And for what? You're not this city's savior. You're a Wayne. And a spoiled, wasteful disappointment of a Wayne at that. Have you forgotten what your family name stands for? You disappoint me. You disappoint me. <coughs> Please. Some... <laughs> <laughs> you could have saved me if you'd only come sooner. What were you doing? You're no hero. A real hero would have saved me. Curse upon this city, a plague on all of Gotham. Leave us 
alone! We were better off without you. I'd still be alive without you. Please, you have to save me. Please! You. What's wrong with you? You couldn't save me! Won't be long now. Your brain cells are dying. Do they choose? Yeah, keep drunk. You think your toys can save you? in your veins and it will remain there as long as you live, which won't be very long. You think these 
ties will hold me? Maybe not. I'd like to see you get out of place. I know where he is. The Joker. Tell me. He's called a meeting. All the assassins will be there. When you set me free, I'll tell you where. Thanks. I owe you one. Wait! I can tell you the location! You already did. Alfred, send GCPD an anonymous tip. Tell them to look inside the shipping containers at the steel mill. Uh, does that mean you've dealt with Copperhead, sir? Yes, and I'm about to deal with the Joker. I don't think that's wise after what you've just been through. You should come back here for medical... Not now, Alfred. Electrocutioner's gloves emit a powerful electromagnetic signal which I can follow with my scanner. He'll lead me right to the Joker. But I need to get out of the steel mill first. Destroy the canister before moving on. Alfred. Sir? I'm uploading a chemical sample. I need you to run a scan of the city. Look for high concentrations of the compound. Find the source, and I can shut it down. Certainly. I'll alert you as soon as I've found something. Hmm. I'm not picking up electrocutioner's signal yet. I'll need to get to higher ground. The central pillar on Pioneer Bridge should do. Then wondering why we're all so pissed off. <laughs> and when was the last time you paid taxes? I don't gotta pay him to hate him. This is the police. If you fail to comply, the use of Tennyson has been authorized. Look out! This man here wanted to protect the police. Protect the police. I need to look for survivors. survivors. Someone will pay for this. I need to set up a crime scene to find out who. The helicopter was spinning out of control. The pilot was killed on impact, not from the gunshot I heard. But what caused him to lose control? Maybe I can learn more back on the rooftop. When he comes, blow his head. No! Ah! Got him! I can analyze the first point of impact from here. The helicopter's tail rotor was severed when the fuselage hit the building. I should review the crime scene and find that tail rotor.
The helicopter crashed when a high-powered round shattered the tail rotor. The ballistics analysis will lead me to the shooter's position. SWAT. So why'd he fire on a police helicopter? This man didn't fire at the helicopter. He was aiming at me. The ballistics trace indicates this officer was killed by a ricochet from the same round that took down the chopper. There's only one person capable of a shot like this. Deadshot. The trajectory analysis will lead me to Deadshot's firing position. This must be where the shot originated. I should scan the area. Just as I suspected, the shell casing matches others in the criminal database, and they're all linked to Deadshot. But his trail ends here, unless... There are numbers on the bullet casing. 451326. Looks like a radio frequency. Available units, call in status. Possible assignment incoming. Hello, Jack. I see you've decoded my message. Well done. But I'm afraid, showtime. Sure. Come meet me at the bank so I can put a bullet in and collect my prize. Oh, and in case you're thinking of backing out, I've got a hostage and a very itchy contributor. Please, I want to live. 
Face to face, at last. Though I've gotta say, I was expecting someone a little more intimidating. You're through terrorizing Gotham. If fate's decided today's the day, so be it. Just finish me quickly, will ya? these rumors going around. What are we supposed to do? Look, no one knows anything for sure. Best thing is for us to just keep doing what we do till things calm down. I'm telling you, Sionis is dead. Him and his girl both. We gotta find a new gig. The gig we got is just fine. Worst case, somebody else takes control. They'll still need muscle and we'll still get paid. All units, if you are attending... How much longer we gotta wait for these guys, huh? It's freezing. They'll be here soon. Probably just held up. 
Hey, Gotham's a bit of a mess tonight, in case you hadn't noticed. That's my point. For all we know, one of the assassins took him out. Or the bat. And if they don't show, what are we supposed to do with all this crap, huh? You can't exactly drag that canister back to the lab. Just need to track the signal to his location. You have came out of nowhere. Getting stronger. The Joker's meeting must be in New Gotham. There's the signal. Looks like the electrocutioner is inside the Gotham Royal Hotel. The 
Joker's booked out the Royal, but why are SWAT providing security? I need to find out what's going on here. Hey, Brandon's doing you a favor here. Don't forget it. Move forward, progress. Moving to assist. Master Bruce, has the Joker taken a room at the Gotham Royal? He's in here, and Swatter doing his dirty work, keeping Gordon and the media away from whatever's going on inside. Doesn't Brandon realize it's not Black Mask he's working with? I guess you'll find out when I bring in the Joker. Turn in this hotel into one big movie train. Hope he doesn't leave us inside. Inside to test it out. Nah, I'm sure he's a little, little excited at the fact. Excited? Yeah. Where is the Joker? I. Joker's ambulance. He must be in the building. Just where in the hotel the Joker is located? Not yet. Why? Well, it looks like there's a security room in the hotel lobby. You could use the cameras to find him. Okay, I'll try that. There are enough explosives here to take down this building. Wonder what other surprises I'll find. Yes, me. He ain't intending to pay up. As soon as one of the assassins kills the bat, boss will kill that guy. Keep all the cash in his bank.
Get inside the security room. Friends, assassins. Welcome to our first quarterly performance review. As you can see here, Batman deaths are coming in far below projections. <laughs> we are really gonna have to turn this around. And by we, I mean you. <laughs> Got that, Mr. Cushioner? Just who the hell are you? I'm the guy with the money. And the gun. <laughs> so, when I hire you to kill the Batman, you... Shut the hell up and kill the Batman! So do you have any... Anything else to contribute? I didn't think so. <laughs> Fantastic! Anyone want a piece? All right, meetings adjourned. Get out there and kill the bat. Move it along, big boy. No, he's coming for you now. And when he gets here, I'm going to kill him. So you wait. <laughs> well, this should be interesting. Whee! <laughs> that lift should get me up to the ceiling so I can get out of here. Maybe Electrocutioner's shock gloves could restore power to this platform. Find the Joker, sir. Yes, he's in the penthouse. I see you profited from my advice. Yet again? Not yet. 
Getting to him won't be easy. The elevators are down, and the Joker's men are everywhere. Well, I've no doubt you'll figure a way up there. When do we get to off the hotel? Well, we gotta keep the guests locked up. Yep. Why is that? Joker's got all hands redecorating this fight establishment. You ever think who this is all for? The guests? By the time we're done with the joint, it's gonna be a damn house of horrors. And they're gonna be stuck in it. <laughs> to think they paid 300 bucks a night for this. Sounds like a reasonable cost of admission. Off your ass! for supper. Lucky for you, your dear friend Bane just refused to start the meal without you. <laughs> Apparently he prefers his dishes served cold. Think I give a damn about your family? Ugh! All right, put him out of his misery. Let me enjoy this, man. You're sick, you know that? Ah, for the love of me! Ah! No one does this to us! We're on our own with this one! I won't. I'm here to help. Okay, please. Please, they've got my friends. Holding them hostage in the overview bar. Where is that? The suspended bar, between the towers. You gotta hurry. Those people don't have long. The overview bar, between the towers. Hurry, they need your help. Oh, crap. Uh-oh. 
that man, hurry! Someone's about to get shot! <clears throat> <laughs> Looks like the one getting shot is you! <laughs> oh, a sucker born every minute. Well, this is unfortunate. For you, I mean. For me. Don't think I don't know you're over there. Did I know? You ain't so pretty. Done with the place? <laughs> oh, I know, I know, it's a bit much. What can I say? I can be a tad, ooh, compulsive from time to time. <laughs>
say. I got a soft spot for cheaters. So bravo, Batman! Bravo! <laughs> nice try! No way out of there! Guess you'll just have to wait right where you are until I start sending the hotel guests through. <laughs> That'll be a scream. Boring! <laughs> you can't figure this out. from us, huh? <laughs>
never seen anything like this. These bombs are set to detonate December 31st. I should be able to disarm them with my cryptographic sequencer. Psychopaths before, but this. Sir, I strongly suggest you call in Captain Gordon. He could be a valuable ally for you. I don't need any allies. I see the Joker's men here have been eliminated. Good work. But remember, our primary objective is the bat. We must remain vigilant. He will not get past us. And this is the only way to the penthouse. We can hope you're right, but only time will test your words. The battle is coming. Oh, look at the little bat. All right. 
of you to drop in <coughs> and just in time oh, he's my parasol <laughs> remember you gave your word you have one minute do they even have manners where he comes from <laughs> you see it's a tradition in my house to open one present each on Christmas Eve. Hmm. How about... this one? <laughs> How many lives did you just take? None, I think. That was just a little stocking stuffer. A construction site blocking my view. <laughs> but this one isn't. I've long waited. For this moment, with your death, I will find peace. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, I present to you the death of the Batman.
city below will bear witness as I tear down its god and leave him in pieces. Uh, guys, can we move this along? I've got There's still some fight to left in you. Right. Yes. Now beat it out of him! Gordon is on his way, sir. You have to hold Zane off until he arrives. Whoever wants a piece of the bat better get in there before the night. All through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a. Oh, well, a bat is stirring, but a few more blows to the head, and he won't be anymore. <laughs> when I'm done with him, I'll be coming for you, Payaso Loco. <laughs> <laughs> he hit you so hard it hurt me! Prepare yourself! Accept your end! Oh, come on, at least make a fight out of it! I want my money's worth! Fifty million dollars worth! <laughs> Actually, no, it wasn't. Deserve the honor of a noble death. This trick. Stop's getting too hot.
going to kill you! Those were two very, very bad men. Ooh, the things they've done. You really don't want to know. They deserved death. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> Freeze! Don't move, freak! I think he's talking to you. Take him down! Let me guess. He got away. Take him to Blackgate. Where'd he go? Huh? The bat! The partner! <laughs> My partner? Who else would jump off a building to save your sorry ass? You know, officer. <laughs> I was wondering the same thing myself. Welcome to Blackgate. We're gonna do a quick psychiatric evaluation. Bad day, huh? Cops in this city. Always beating on the sick and defenseless. Tell me something, dear. Have you ever had a really bad day? And what do you mean by that? You all people should know. There's nothing so cruel as memory. The pointy, biting little thunderbolts, unwanted party crashes screaming through your synapses. <laughs> Inescapable, unrelenting, not at all friendly. You can't even escape into madness. <laughs> and then you meet someone who changes your life. And you feel that you don't even know who you are anymore. Isn't it funny how one little encounter can cleave off little pieces of your past, deform your memories and persona until you rethink your whole identity? <laughs> and as you realize how foolish it all is, <laughs> your laughter reverberates off the walls of your own emptiness. Oh. I'm gonna need more specifics. How about we try some word association? That sounds... delightful. <laughs> okay. One more. And I need you to be serious for this one. Fate. <laughs> you wanna know something funny? I used to think of fate as evil. Predetermined, not by some higher power, no, but by the rules of human nature. Tonight, it's all changed. What changed? Have you ever had the feeling that your entire life has been building towards this one moment? Is that how you feel? <laughs> well, now, yes. Now I realize that all the battles, the bad days, the brutalities. It was all the hand of fate at work. So now you see fate differently? <laughs> Absolutely. And now I understand there are no chance encounters. It was all meant to be. Everything leading up to who I've met tonight. So you've met someone special? Yeah. And you might say it's changed everything. Everything? Absolutely. 
I mean, do you realize what a vile world we live in? How lonely it is to wade through all that wretched filth on your own? It is kind of lonely, isn't it? Of course. Of course you understand. Even in a crowd of other screwballs, <laughs> you're so alone that you can kick, claw, yell, scream at the top of your lungs. It's like you don't even exist. I feel... How does that make you feel? I feel adrift, floating, like someone's pulled the stopper on my reality, and I'm sucked down the drain into something new. It's all very exciting, really. <laughs> you wouldn't know what that feels like, I'm sure. I might. Can you tell me more about how this person makes you feel? It's like meeting someone I can actually relate to. Which, believe me, dear, I've never felt before. <laughs> you understand. You're someone who's not afraid to let go and fall. <laughs> Free falling. And I didn't pack a shoot. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yes. Yes, I do. I figured you would. So, may I ask, who is this person? Oh, someone very, very special. But whose real name I don't even know yet. Uh, my name's Halleen. Halleen Quinzel. What a pretty name. Do your friends call you Harley? Oh, uh... I don't have a lot of friends. Well, Harley, you got one now. a bit anticlimactic, but I hoped you might finally be ready to celebrate Christmas Eve, now that the Joker's behind bars. Bane is still out there. I've got to locate the signal from the tracker I placed on him. Even you must eat, sir. If you hadn't called the police, he'd already be in custody. You know, I made a promise of my own to your parents. No sign of any casualties. Not now, Alfred. The story back at the precinct. Why see that? Found bombs under the foundation. Some kind of hopped up freak. Must have been 400 pounds of muscle. Took six cops to gun that bastard down. Yeah, I saw the body in the morgue. Couldn't believe Sounds it. Sounds like this could be Bane or one of his men. If I hurry to the GCPD morgue, I can inspect the body and the autopsy report. Well, before you leave, I've run some tests on the compound you found at the steel mill. Looks like a match for your globular projectile for non-lethal restraint. You mean the glue grenade? Indeed. The resin has finished curing. It's at your workbench. Of course, I'd recommend testing it here in the lab before you go. But I'm sure you won't listen to me. You never do.
So I take it you won't be testing it then? It's called field testing, Alfred. I need to find Bane. Is the tracker responding? Not at present, I'm afraid. Let me know if anything changes. Anything. You'll know as soon as I do, sir. I promise. I don't like this. Alfred, how are you holding up? Fine, considering the circumstances. Some of the assassins have access to rather interesting technology. When this is over, you might want to consider appropriating it. Let some good come of tonight's events. That Vicky Vale is quite the troublemaker. Perhaps someone should do a report on her. <coughs> Master Bruce! Stop! Master Bruce! Bruce! Bruce you... I will not in good conscience allow you to go! You're outmatched by these assassins. I'm, what? You're not some hardened vigilante. You're a young man with a trust fund and too much anger. You're in over your head and I... I don't want this to be your end. Alfred, who do you see when you look at me? The boy whose shoes you used to tie every morning? The teenager you drove to his first date? While you are here every night, I am out there. The only thing between the innocent you and the may predator. be no not may be i am when the mugger or the thief stops to think twice that is fear that is what i am that is why they hired assassins because i am the reason the criminals breathe easier when the sun rises so no alfred i am not in over my head tonight will be my end but it will be theirs It's okay. I understand.
one! We got some action! What the hell are you? Units, we need everyone on assignment. No 10 until further notice. Maybe we should think about skipping town. The assassins were bad enough, but now someone's out there blowing up buildings? <laughs> Just got word, the boss is on his way. The guy's a beast. Ghost rule that crap tonight, and the first thing he does is get the business back up and running. Heard his girlfriend got popped, too. Damn. Makes a cold man to shrug off something like that. That's why he calls the shots. Doesn't get distracted. They say the penguin was behind the boss's kidnapping. Wouldn't surprise me. Those two ain't exactly friends. Yeah, but I thought we had a truce. So? Truces are made to be broken. Keep an eye on that canister. You know how much this stuff's worth? More than us. <laughs> Someone's been coming after you. Whoa, what do you mean? Where do you think everyone else is? I got this. I said I got I this. I think the boss gets here soon. Saves me the trouble of having to hunt you down. You just don't know when to quit, Sionis. 
Guess we've got that in common. One way or another, I'm taking you in. Now we can do this the easy way, or the... Yeah, yeah, or, or the hard way. But I think you know my choice. Show me what you got! Sionis has been apprehended. They can pick him up at the church. Straight away, sir. You know what's so great about you, Batman? Even when I lose, I win. So go ahead, call the cops. They'll lock me up, sure. But my lawyer will have me out on bail before the sun's up. And you know what I'm gonna do when I get out? I'm gonna dedicate every waking minute to tracking you down and taking you out. And the best part is, there's not a damn thing you can do about it. Because that justice system you love so much, it's a scam. And you, <laughs> well, you're the mark. Because you keep tossing us in, and we keep bouncing right back out. like a common rat. How expected. I bet steering that thing requires a whole lot of concentration. Oops! Sorry about that! Oh, that Poor door. You really should apologize. Interesting. Watching you figure that one out was a real treat. I'll make sure the next one is even more provocative. This isn't a game, Enigma. Oh, but it is. And one you're more than welcome to stop playing. Now you need to stop interfering with my work. Tackling these towers is one thing, but... My handlers, my data, my network relays, those aren't meant for you, so back off!
again. I'm afraid you'll find I've stepped things up considerably. Which means I think our time together is drawing to a close. It's been fun, Batman. But all good things must come to an end. superior intellect, as you'll soon discover. Keep it up, Batman, and you're going to be very, very sorry. need to stop this. Stop what? Cleaning up the streets? Ensuring the GCPD actually does its job? Removing corruption from the system? Was it one of those in particular you took issue with, or all of them? You're using the data you've stolen to blackmail people. So? It gets the job done. And it's certainly kinder than the beatings you're so fond of doling out. Think on that. That's one way to solve a problem. Who needs doors anyway? You're cheating, aren't you? You're getting help from someone! Smart enough to outsmart me. <laughs> no one's helping me, Enigma. Did you ever consider maybe you're not as clever as you think? <laughs> Says the man who seems to have mistaken Christmas Eve for Halloween. <laughs> In case you haven't noticed, I've got the entire city under surveillance, feeding me all of its dirty little secrets. 
And I did it all on your watch, oh great guardian of Gotham. So, what do you have to say to that? I'm taking your network down. <sighs> Spoken like a true Neanderthal. Well, you can certainly try. you had a city to save. So what are you doing wasting time with me? Why don't we just agree to disagree and go our separate ways? I don't think so. What's wrong with you? It's not like I'm backing the bad guys here. Well, not usually. You're invading people's privacy. You got how many assassins running around out there, and you're lecturing me on selling personal information? Way to prioritize. You're going after Gotham Optics next? Or maybe some telemarketers? Ooh. If that information gets into the wrong hands, people could get hurt because of you. And people do get hurt because of you. So I assume you'll be handing yourself over to the police now? <laughs> That's what I thought. My board is lit up. If you don't have an assignment, please report in. Just as I suspected. Mine is the superior intellect. No hard feelings, I hope. I can't see crap. Freak. 
I'm upping the stakes, Batman, just like I promised. Tread carefully. Oh, boy! You sure showed that great who's in charge. How pedestrian. Try and put some effort into it at least. Another day, another door. They're just no match for you. feeling pretty good about yourself, Batman. I mean, you took down all the towers, which means you foiled my plan. Except, oh wait, I already have all the data I need. And as soon as I'm done uploading it, so will everyone in Gotham. There's still time for me to put an end to this. True, there is. Just not very much. It was a valiant attempt, though. You get an A for effort, but an F for impact. Enigma, where are you? I'm right here. Well, figuratively speaking anyway. Disappointed I didn't choose to meet up in person? What's this about? Sionis hire you to throw me off his trail? Think of me as an information broker. I've got data handlers everywhere, feeding me all kinds of interesting stuff. And you think this is going to destroy Gotham? Oh, yes. See, bullet wounds and broken bones will eventually heal. But incriminating photos, videos, emails, that kind of damage can never be repaired. Tomorrow morning, when I release everything I've got, the city's going to collapse. Resignations, arrests, deaths, it'll be chaos in the streets, Batman, and there's not a thing you can do to stop me. I figured you'd try and get all caveman on my equipment. It's password protected, I'm afraid, with 10,000 volts of electricity. You've lost, Batman. Might as well head home and get some rest. With everyone's deepest, darkest secrets about to go on public display, I've got a feeling tomorrow's going to be a very busy day for you. One way or another, I'm shutting you down. Destroying all the network relays will let me access his server. It's the only way to stop him. Those must be the handlers he was talking about. I can use them to track down the extortion data he's been collecting. Well, look at that! You figured it out! I'm impressed. Annoyed, too. 
but your achievement signals a level of intellect rarely seen in Gotham. It seems you're quite the riddle. Now, don't get too comfortable. You see, I learned something else tonight. The nastiest, dirtiest little secret you can imagine. It puts the rest of my collection to shame. But I'm going to wait to release it, if only because it means I get to watch you squirm as you wonder what on earth it is. I'll be in touch soon. Looks like he's no longer an imminent threat. I can close this case. For now, at least. I should try to use my new glue grenade to plug these pipes. saw at the riot in the precinct's holding cells earlier. I should scan his corpse. The victim was dosed with a chemical that caused temporary deformation of his physiology. I'll need to check the autopsy report to find out more. That computer should contain the autopsy report I'm looking for. Interesting. The victim was using a powerful compound with many similarities to the street drug Venom at the time of his death. It changes the user's muscle and bone structure, greatly enhancing strength for a temporary period. It appears that whatever this compound is, it reduces mental capacity in several ways, including severe damage to the brain's memory center. Prolonged use could seriously compromise the user's memory. 
There's Bane's tracker. All available units, we've received reports of shots fired inside the Coventry district. Witnesses described two armed groups fighting over what appear to be chemical weapons. Requesting any available officers locate and secure the scene. The chemical weapons? I should investigate. I should hurry to Bane's location before I lose the signal again. Secure the chemicals. A gift for El Jefe. One of many. Where are the others? I will say no more. Brother, we are at the fort. But the Duende Cobblepot has sent his men to oppose us. You must come. I have what I need. find that canister. Someone's gonna get hurt! Where's the canister? Blown away. You'll never find it. Sir, 
Your suit is picking up trace elements of a compound used in the manufacturing of venom. It appears the canisters contain ingredients necessary for its creation. I need to find out where they've taken them. Uh, may I suggest scanning the area? They could have left something behind that points to their destination. Looks like they're heading to my alibi. You want the club? It's yours. But when the boss finds out about this, he will stay away if he values his life. Ah! The bat! You have come as Bane said you would. Fly down from your perch then, so I can kill you. I thought you'd never ask. Lieutenant, putting you away should set him back. <laughs> Bane already has all he needs. He will find you. He will break you. Alfred, put in a call to GCPD. They want to bring these men in for questioning.
tracking signal I saw was coming from somewhere down that tunnel. blue grenade to create a raft. Tracking device is in here somewhere, which means Bane is likely in here as well. safe at Wayne Manor. Got it. I'll call the police. No, I can't risk them discovering my identity as well. Just secure yourself in the Batcave. What are you going to do? I'm on my way to you. I'll figure something out. I need to get back to the Batcave, and quickly.
Repeat, suspect is airborne in a jet pack, armed with a flamethrower. Multiple hostages on the Pioneer Bridge. Firefly. He must not know Joker's behind bars. He's putting those people in danger to get to me. Delta 6-5 to dispatch. Who's the OIC at Pioneer? Captain James Gordon is the officer in charge. lives could be at risk at the bridge. If I can hack Firefly's communication channel, I can learn more. And if the cops try anything stupid, kill a few hostages. Sure thing. And, uh, how long before we set the timers on the bombs? Not until the bat shows. We'll wait all night if we have to. There's 50 million dollars riding on this. Alfred, Firefly has hostages on the Pioneer's Bridge. I need to deal with him before coming back. Oh, can't you just let the police handle Mr. Linz? Especially in light of what we've just learned. I can't abandon those hostages. They're in jeopardy because of me. Because of the bounty Joker placed on my head. They'll be safe in the Batcave. situation, people. Get into position and prepare to breach on my order. Do not provoke or engage the suspect. He's got hostages in the bridge sublevel. Just get yourselves into position. I need to draw a Firefly away from the bridge so I can approach safely. sends his men into a trap. Dispatch, this is Marine 4. Where's the tactical command post? We're supposed to report the cord. EPP is inside the center pillar at the base of the bridge.
Don't send in your men. Firefly has the bridge rigged with explosives. Show yourself! You have a go. No! Call them back. If Firefly blows the bridge, there's no telling how many will die. You're the reason those people are in danger. He's doing this for the bounty on your head! Give yourself up! I'm going to bring in Firefly myself. Don't send anyone else in until I tell you it's safe. You'll stay the hell out of this! You hear me? Make one of these guards tell me how many bombs Firefly has and where they are. So. <laughs> <laughs> the other three.
Black 2, command. Our target hit a gas main with his flamethrower. Fire in the north end. Damn it. I'm remotely engaging the fire door in that section to protect the hostages. You've been after the bounty on my head all night. It was never Sionis. The Joker put up the bounty, and now he's behind bars. I heard, but I still got a score to settle with you. I'm giving you the rest of the night off. You took an oath to uphold the law. When I see you again, I expect you to be following that oath to the letter. Yes, yes sir. I'm sorry. I'll be watching you. I'll be watching you. Emergency alert. Please follow the quickest route to leave the bridge. Bomb secure, uh, Mr. Uh, Firefly, sir. Firefly's locked his hostages in a train car with explosives. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Good thinking. Hey, you... you gotta let us out of here. I ain't gotta do a damn thing, lady. I'm going to get you out of there. Bravo 2, this is command. Report. Source of explosion was an oil truck on the bridge surface. Massive damage. No casualties concerned. Copy. Keep me informed. Open the fire door in the train depot so I can disarm Firefly's bomb at the north end of the bridge. Get off this frequency! Now! Listen, I'm on my way to disarm the bomb at the south end. Have this door open by the time I get back. You let me do my job, and stay the hell out of my way! Damn it. Alfred, there's a fire door blocking my progress. I need codes to get past it. The police should have access to those codes. Perhaps Captain Gordon... Gordon won't cooperate. I'm heading to get the other bomb. Get those codes to me by the time I'm done. Right. I'll do my best.
Is there someone moving around down there? Possible Batman spot and tracking target. Negative. Stay to your assigned patrol. If Firefly spots your target, he can set up his bombs. Roger that. Fire door codes you asked for. Okay, I'll call you when I'm at the door. I also thought I'd let you know the hostages you released have escaped. They're telling tales of a hero who saved their lives. I'm not looking for praise, Alfred. I figured you'd say that. Would it kill you to light an of it? I want to see the look on the cop's face when I blow this bridge into Christmas future. He's burning vehicles now. I have the bridges on fire. Keep your distance. Don't provoke him. The bomb squad is nearly here. I need to get to that last bomb before Gordon and his men force Firefly's hand. From what I hear, he's got the strength of ten men. Please, don't give me that baloney. He's only one guy, and there's no way one guy could have done all this. I think we should radio Firefly and let him know the bats here. We don't know the bats here yet, and Firefly will burn us to a crisp if we're wrong. Hey. Let's wait till we're sure, huh? I'm sure. Who else could do this? 
I don't know, like the National Guard or something? Oh, yeah, yeah. So maybe it's the Santa Claus and his army is angry, Randy. Well, Elliot, it was the bat. Hey, man, was that you? three of the four bombs as soon as I defuse the final bomb. We're breaching now. You're too late. Alfred, open the fire door. As you wish, sir. Going to have to rely on more than 
now's my chance. My only option is to grapple onto Firefly. Don't give him too much credit. Something tells me that if you hadn't given the bomb squad the breach order, this bridge would be at the bottom of the river. Get him out of here. Eh. You didn't listen. I'm not big on taking orders from wanted men. I'm not big on taking orders from cops. I should have gotten to that last bomb. Yeah. And I should have given you access to that security door. But between the two of us, we covered it pretty well. Come on, damn it! All units, all units, O10. Repeat, O10 confirmed at Black Gate Prison. Don't make identified as the Joker. You're going to be all right. I know I haven't always been supportive of what you do, but I understand now. Go. They need you out there. I can't defend Gotham. I can't even defend my own home. Master Bruce. Repeat, any available 
Now is not the time for doubt. I can't do it. I can't stop them. No, you can't. Not on your own. But it's high time you realize that you are a man, not an island. And a man's strength comes not from just brawn and intelligence, but also from his allies. Be one alert. The Joker has escaped from his cell and is leading the riots at Blackgate. Repeat, the Joker has taken over the entire prison. Multiple casualties, multiple hostages. Again, we have lost Blackgate. Captain Gordon is calling on anyone, anyone for assistance. They need you. No, they need us. Thanks. Thanks for... I could use your help. Captain Gordon's on his way. Secure the gates for him, then help him lock this place down. The Joker cannot be allowed out of here. Yes, sir. We're on it. Prison Officer 47 to Captain James Gordon. What is your ETA at Blackgate? About five minutes. You getting those gates open? Be ready by the time you're here. I've been listening to the reports coming out of Blackgate. Everything okay? I should be asking you that. How are you feeling? Well, it's not every day that one's heart must be crudely resuscitated by defibrillation, but I must say I feel remarkably well, considering... Good to hear. Any arrhythmia, let me know immediately. Of course. But honestly, Bruce, I do think you have bigger things to worry about right now.
there. I can taste the fresh air. Beats the air I'm tasting now. Oh, man, I can't wait. I'm going straight to O'Kane's having a pint. What's it been for you, man? Like eight years in here? Twelve. And what they put you in for? Drinking and driving. Ha! <laughs> and you're gonna go have a pint. What are you? The damn parole board? I ain't rehabilitated. And I'm really thirsty. Whatever. Just don't drive. You could kill someone. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. What are you in for, anyway? Manslaughter. Go get the bastard! know where the Joker's hiding. Are you okay? What's it to you? You were almost killed. Eh, occupational hazard. Look, I know why you're here. He's in the Panopticon. And he's waiting for you.
Stay here where it's safe until the police come. Yeah. I'm sure I'll feel a lot safer around a bunch of cops. Get this over with already. I've had enough for one day. Apparently, the Joker's afraid of me. Wouldn't let me out. And for good reason. I don't like having my time wasted. You should have known trying to kill me was a waste of your time. <laughs> well, you won't have to worry about that anymore. Not unless someone else puts up 50 million bucks. I wasn't worried.
It on every beat of his bacon little heart will charge the battery on this electric chair. And when it's fully charged. <laughs> so either you kill Bane. <laughs> no, I won't kill him. But you will. You will fight me with all your resolve, or you will die. Someone is going to die. You, me, or the clown? The question of which one of us it is, is in your hands. A compassionate man would be home, mourning the loss of his servant and lifelong companion right now. Yet here you are. Chair goes off, that's 2,000 volts. You won't make it. You don't need to. <laughs> Jim, 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 Jim. Have a seat, Jimbo. We'll fry together like two little potato latkes. <laughs> I got a pulse. I'm gonna jumpstart your heart. Kill you again. <laughs> May you find the peace in death that you did not find in life. I'm not looking for peace. I can use my shock gloves to temporarily stop Bane's heart. It's my only hope. Accept your end! Face me! Look at him go!
The game is over, Joker. Let Captain Gordon go. Yeah, put the gun down, freak. How about I put you down? Gordon! Well, that's the Christmas spirit. <laughs> well, I'd love to stay and celebrate your victory, but I've got stockings to stuff, mistletoe to hang, and about 15 skyscrapers to blow up before sunrise. Ciao! <laughs> Thank God you had your vest on. Uh, he's, he's got my gun! Gordon, Joseph, I need your help to stop the Joker. Our help? You're the so-called vigilante. Or is one kill enough for you tonight? Bane's in cardiopulmonary arrest. I have only minutes to resuscitate him before it's too late. You mean, you didn't? That's not how I do things. Now go. Come on. Door to your advantage. Is my 
Thank you for the help with Bane. I trust he's down for good this time. He's secure, and it appears the TN1 Bane took damaged his memory permanently. Ah, does that mean he won't be revealing your identity? Looks that way. Glad to hear it, sir. And the Joker? He's still on the loose, but not for long. This is Captain Gordon at Blackgate Prison, requesting immediate medevac. Warden Joseph has been shot. Repeat, Warden Joseph is down. EMT chopper on route. ETA 15 minutes. Tell them to hurry up! Where's Gordon? Sniper! Would your locals back for more? I've never been a simple night. Not yet, you haven't. Son of a bitch! Screw this! Want the Joker? Take him. Help me keep these guys off the warden. Shut the us! Right here. Right down the neck. Fight 
well. Had a rough childhood. This doesn't make us friends, you know. I know. Joseph, they're on their way. You're going to make it. Where's the Joker? He went through that door. Towards the chapel. Thanks. to stop me! <laughs> Any one of my guys would have killed him. The city deserves better than that. You know, my daughter thinks you're a hero. But I still have to bring you in. Gordon, come in. What's your 20? I'm in the chapel. We got the Joker. Son of a bitch. You caught him. And how did you do that? I had some help. I keep asking myself why I didn't bring him in. And I now know the truth is, I let him go because of you. Because you believe in him. I don't know. They put me in charge of a station full of rotten cops. And I can't change them any more than I can change this damn city. Or at least, that's what I used to think. Stop his heart. That is funny. <laughs> Good one, Bats. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. Maybe, maybe I can give them something to believe in. Maybe he can give them something to believe in. Figured you'd be by sooner or later.
And what happens if I don't sign? You rot in here, or you work for me. It's been a long night, Alfred. Why don't you turn in? Wouldn't dream of it, sir. Not until you're back safe and sound. Well, if you're sure you're up for it, I've got a few loose ends to tie up out here. And I could use your help. You can count on it. And when you get home, we can finally have that Christmas dinner I've been keeping warm for you. For our breakfast. According to the police report, the victim died from a single gunshot wound to the chest. But who killed him? And why? Examining the body should provide a lead. Owen Grant. He's an investigative journalist. Did an interview with him last year. Must have been chasing a big story to be out here. Now there's a camera strap around his neck. But where's the rest of it? This trail indicates the victim tried to escape before succumbing to his wounds. Spatter analysis indicates the shot came from below. Grant must have dropped the camera when he was hit. Reviewing the reconstruction will help me find it. Assuming the shooter didn't get there first. Alfred. Sir? I'm sending you some data taken from a camera. See if you can ID the subject in the shots. Certainly, sir. Just give me a moment. There. Here we are. Mm. Uh, one Chucky Burks. I'm sending you his last known location. I got multiple calls available. Sending them out in priority order. You're done here. Look, if they've showed up, fine, we walk. But if they haven't, if there's still time, then please, I'm begging you. And I'm telling you, forget it. You think they won't trace this back to you too? Huh? Find out about our little counterfeiting scheme? What do you think that guy was doing down there? Sightseeing? They're already onto us. How the hell that happened? You tell me. I'm not the one buying flashy cars and new suits, buying rounds for everybody at the bar. Hell, you've even got an entourage now. I don't know what you're talking about. Sure you don't. Either way, it looks like if I go down, you go down. Give me a minute. I need to think about this. Ah! Who's messing with me? Guys! Just, uh, 
What do you want? Justice. You killed a man. Why? He was gonna expose our counterfeiting. I didn't have a choice. You always have a choice. Alfred, let GCPD know that Chucky e. Burks has been apprehended for the murder of Owen Grant. Send them my current location along with the case file details. That one, sir. Dispatch, 4-9. 4-9, go ahead. So the fire's almost out, but it looks like we've got a body here. Cause of death currently unknown. Gonna need a forensics team to take a look. Copy that. We'll get someone to you. Keep the site secured until they arrive. Fire damage is going to make evidence collection difficult. I should start by identifying the victim. Dental records indicate his name is Alex Kane. He's a small-time arms dealer that frequently works with the Penguin. Cause of death was a gunshot wound to the heart. The fire must have been set in an attempt to cover the killer's tracks. DNA evidence indicates the killer fired from close range. This suggests the two men knew each other. Maybe it was a deal that went bad. Interesting, the fire was actually started by the victim. Chemical residue points to an incendiary grenade. Guess an arms dealer always comes prepared. The spread pattern means the killer would have been trapped here, though. But there's no second body. He must have found a way out. The killer made his way up the wall in an attempt to avoid being overcome. I should follow his route and see where it takes me. Hmm. There's no way he could reach that ladder. I should review the crime scene to see how he made his escape. These prints belong to King Lu, one of Penguin's top hitmen. Chances are I'll find him at the docks. I wonder what Kane did to deserve this. guys that would kill for this gig. What do you want? 
answers. Did Penguin order you to kill Alex Kane? <laughs> I don't think so. If anything, Cobblepot's gonna have me killed for doing it. Then why? I was sick of playing heavy. I figured if Kane, you know, disappeared, I might be able to move up in the world. You're not moving anywhere now. Oh. Alfred, let the GCPD know where they can find Kane's killer. You can forward them all the evidence, too. It's already done, sir. Dispatch, this is Officer Meyer. We got a hit and run just outside the precinct. Looks like it might be one of our own. Your request has been logged. All available homicide units are out on call. First one back is yours. Outside GCPD. This was no accident. Victim is Nate Ramo, a member of the SWAT division. His whole team is currently under investigation by Internal Affairs. I wonder what he was doing here. Looks like he was thrown a considerable distance by the vehicle. I can use the spatter distribution to determine the point of initial impact. This is where Ramo was killed. DNA evidence indicates the car was traveling at a high rate of speed, but the angle of spatter shows the driver lost control and the car was weaving. I should review the crime scene, see if anything else was hit. Chemical analysis indicates a specific brand of paint that narrows down the make and model of the car. And cross-referencing these specs with a list of his team members returns a single name. John DeMarco. Time to pay him a visit. stashed off somewhere. And if he did, it's not like he can tell anyone where it is. We just gotta keep our heads down and our mouths shut. I hope you're right. I know I'm right. Suspect in our sights! Why did you do it, DeMarco? Why did you kill Ramo? I indeed didn't have enough to make the charges stick, but the kid got scared, made a deal, and decided to talk. <laughs> Traitor! You'd have been out of jail in a few years on the drug charges, but now, murder means life. We'll see about that. 
With all the evidence I've collected, it won't take long for the jury to convict. Funny thing about evidence, it has a tendency to disappear. Not on my watch. <laughs> Alfred, let GCPD know that Ramo's murderer has been captured. I'm also sending you a taped confession. We'll bring down the rest of the team with him. Dispatch, do you copy? Go ahead. Got a body down here. Mid-30s, no ID, no witnesses. Injuries are consistent with repeated blunt force trauma. Requesting a homicide team on site. Copy that. We'll send you our first available. something here. What didn't they see? These bruising patterns are inconsistent with the police report of multiple strikes. The victim suffered one massive blow that shattered multiple bones. These spatter patterns confirm this man was killed by a single large object traveling at high velocity. Reconstructing the event should reveal the murder weapon. belong to Andrew Carter. He has a pretty lengthy record, but nothing that indicates this level of violence. Notes indicate he's been suffering paranoid delusions. Guess he finally lost control. Alfred, I need a last known location for a perp named Andrew Carter. According to the GCPD database, he was released from Blackgate just over a month ago. I'm sending you what I have. Oh, hold on. Mm. There's a notation here indicating he stopped attending court-mandated therapy sessions recently and is believed to be quite unstable. Do be careful. I always am. I need any unassigned unit for... Shadow from his dreams, the one who must be broken. I was told you might come. You killed a man tonight. Why? He saw he would speak. We could not allow it. What did he see? What's Bane planning? I will say no more. Then we're done talking. <laughs> The 
Police know the victim fell from a nearby building, but there's not much else in the file. His identity might shed some light on things. Brian Murphy, an account manager at the Gotham Merchants Bank. Cause of death, internal injuries sustained on impact. Now I know what happened. Time to find out how and why. This blood spatter indicates a high velocity impact. I should check the roof. The railing here is broken. Was it an accident or was he pushed? Huh. Two sets of footprints means the victim wasn't alone. And the scattered paperwork suggests he had a briefcase. I need to find that. Interesting. There are two sets of fingerprints here. One belongs to the victim, the other to Robert Haynes, a well-known con artist. Alfred, I need the last known location of Robert Haynes. I'll send over everything I've got in case it helps. No need, sir. I already have a search area. Check your display. Hey, Dick. I can make the IDs, but you sure it's gonna work? I've got the account numbers and passwords. If we've got driver's license, with the guys, as far as the bank's concerned, we're the guys. But what if they uh, recognize one of us? I specifically chose one of you. Most of them have never set foot inside the bank. All right, but if this goes pear-shaped, it's on you. Relax, guy. I've been doing this a long time, and I never make mistakes. What happened to Brian Murphy? We had a deal. He gave me the account numbers. I faked being a client and cleared out the account. In exchange, he gets a cut. It's a con I run a hundred times, but then he starts to get nervous, tries to back out. So you threw him off a roof? I couldn't risk a warning the bank. I'll go to the cops. I had to protect my interests. And how'd that work out for you? Oh! oh. Dispatch, this is Officer Franklin. Go ahead and let Homicide know that the Park Row crime scene has been secured. Oh, and tell him to bring a second meat wagon. We got two DBs down here. Victims. Both shot dead. I know them. This is Horace Riley, heir to the Riley Mining Empire. Odd. He still has his wallet and watch. Clarissa Rodriguez. Riley proposed to her just weeks ago. Socialite and activist. Even though it's worth a fortune, her necklace wasn't taken. This wasn't a robbery. The 
Reconstruction indicates Horace's lung was punctured. He drowned in his own blood. Clarissa took a single shot to the heart. Death was instantaneous. Both shots were from an automatic. Finding the casings will let me identify the killer. Looks like he tried to clean up after himself, but one of the casings fell through this grate. I can check it for prints. this. Alfred, I need a location on Ian Chase. Isn't that the fellow from your Halloween party? As I recall, you had to throw him out. Is he troubling Miss Rodriguez again? She's dead. Horace, too. Oh, dear. Well, I suppose we should have seen this coming. The location, Alfred. Sent, sir. And my condolences as well. I know exactly who you are. You didn't do it for money. You didn't even do it for love. You're choking me. I can't breathe. Not out of jealousy. Not out of anger. You did it because you're a small, selfish, malicious. Sir, is everything all right? Your vital signs are rather erratic. <sighs> what, what the hell's wrong with you? Alfred, let the GCPD know that Ian Chase has been apprehended. I'm also sending you the evidence I collected. Certainly, sir. And might I recommend you be on your way? No need to spend any more time there, hmm? Hello? Batman? Do you copy? Gordon. Sorry to, uh, interrupt. Barbara gave me this frequency. I, uh, well... I thought you might be able to help me with something. Is there a problem? That depends. If we can contain this in time, it should be okay. Contain what? We've got some Blackgate escapees stirring up trouble in the city. And after tonight's events, I'm a little short-staffed at the moment. So you want me to bring them in? Well, that's what you do, right? I'll see what I can do. prisoner you abandoned our leader when he needed you most i would have fallen as well now though i can help you plan his rescue i'll beat my teeth with your bones Yes, I can. 
Go. Savior of the city or something. Something like that. Ugh. Gordon, I've got another prisoner for pickup. Thanks, Batman. I owe you one. Then do me a favor. Tell your people to back off and let me do my job. I'll think about it. Don't take too long. I've got a feeling we'll be doing this again soon.
Today, an outsider takes our test of honor to see if he is worthy of our training. Out of pity, we let him eat with us, drink with us, train with us. And now we shall see if he is truly one of us. Begin. Not belong. Kill him.
The foreigner is full of surprises. But fighting alone does not make him worthy. To train with us, you must be able to use the environment and strike without being seen. If you see him, shoot him. And if you shoot him, shoot to kill. you with a few seconds for every student you incapacitate or kill. Doesn't matter. Where are you, Tibor? <laughs> survive to fight again. But I would not let beginner's luck cloud your judgment. This test is far from over, and we shall truly see if you are one of us. Make him suffer. Sino 
Intimidate me. Foreigner, go home. Non tun bigan tasso. Interesting. You spare their lives even though they will not spare yours. There is no room for your self-righteous Western morality here. It will only get in your way. 
kill him! You have the strength and resistance. But you will have the will and determination. We shall see. I have learned much since you first arrived, but I wonder if you have learned to overcome your fear, your anger, your hate. Or do these emotions still cloud your judgment? Let us see. Chance. 
넌 여기 있을 놈이 아니야! Pilgrim.
You have done well, novice. But you still have much to learn. For the time being, find a rag and clean the floor. People caring for people. Compassion. That's the foundation Gotham was built on. And I have proudly built Golf Corp on that same foundation. That's why we're called the People Company. Thank you so much. Please. Mr. Boyle seems to be after your title as Gotham's biggest philanthropic industrialist. Gotham needs more people like him. Bruce! Hey. <laughs> I am blown away by your support. It's well-deserved. You're going to change the world, Ferris. Hey, we'll change it together, right? Pardon me, Mr. Boyle. The press is waiting. Well, this way, please. I'd say the future is looking <clears throat> very, very bright for Gotham. Now, it's almost midnight, and you all know what that means. Let's get this New Year's Eve party going with the... Whew. Forget to pay your heating bill, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> afraid of an old man. Uh, Just take it easy. Uh, <laughs> Hope that face wasn't worth something. Oh, look at the rich boy. So long, Bruce. This is payback from Penguin. Okay. I've been through worse. These are Penguin's men. What do they want with Ferris? I'm not sure. They're being led by someone in a mechanized suit. I need to find Ferris before they do. Well, you're no use to us dressed like that. You need to put on your other suit. The closest entrance to the Batcave is in the study. There's Bruce. He'll help us. Bruce. Bruce, do you have a minute? Someone said an iceberg just appeared, exploded in the ballroom. I need details. What happened? Who do you think- Where's Ferris? He never made it to the interview. Wait, you're not going out there alone, are you? Stay with Alfred. He'll keep you safe. With these guests about, perhaps you should look for that <clears throat> item in the wine cellar. You're right. Bruce, these are dangerous men. Let's just wait for the police. Bruce, these are dangerous men. Be careful passing through the library, sir. Penguin's men have infiltrated the entire manor. You keep out of harm's way. No more heroics. These animals don't frighten me. Alfred. You'd better get to the wine cellar before I have to take on Penguin's entire gang myself. I have the situation well in hand, Master Bruce. Those men are armed. I'm going to have to take them down quietly if I don't want to get shot. Don't forget, I called dibs on those pearls. I've taken them before we torch this place.
bust up the Wayne man. The Waynes ruined the cobble pots back in the day. So he says. That makes sense. You don't get to the top without stepping on a few heads, you know what I mean? Ain't nothing back there except more wine. Bordiox. You see that expansion? It's not Bordiox. It's Bordeaux. Oh, sorry. Bordeaux. Yeah. So why is Penguin gone? Where's the safe, Wayne? Come out of that cave more than once a week, you'd know that the Bat Cave entrance is in the wine cellar's tasting room. Look for the statue. in that tunnel, sir. It's still suffering from the damage our visitor did on Christmas Eve. of your mechanized man. These hooligans are calling him Mr. Freeze. You might consider donning your extreme environment suit. The XC mm. suit? It's not ready for deployment. Oh dear. I hear helicopters. More penguin brutes. Do hurry. Time to prep the XE suit for deployment. I'll need Alfred to put the finishing touches on it. I need to get back to the manor and find Ferris before Penguin's men do. Sir, before you ask, the formula we used for your glue grenades was unstable. What was left after Christmas Eve was degraded into dust. the manor ablaze. I've managed to get most of the guests into the east and south wings, but hey, it's the butler! Alfred. Alfred! signal from Alfred.
Damn it, Alfred. Duh! Keep your silly jade statue then, and I'm sure your employer will enjoy the hundreds of dollars it will garner on the black market. Hey, old timer, I only need a few hundred to put you in. Oh, oh. Ah, that would have hurt. Ah. Ah. Don't let him get me. Ah. the exit. This way. That was amazing. You just picked those goons apart. Shh, quiet. We've got Ferris Boyle in the next room. I, I think they're going to kill him. Sir, are you all right? Thanks to you, the hero of Christmas Eve come to rescue us from the... Can I trust you'll get these people to safety? Uh, of course. Now that you've dealt with most of these hooligans... You should restore power to your sprinkler system to deal with these fires. Not to worry. I won't allow Wayne Manor to burn to the ground. The Waynes are in your debt. Thank you for the rescue, Batman. But I believe the young miss said that Mr. Boyle needs your help. You know, you really should do an exclusive with me. The people want to know what you're all about. I've got more important things to do. This is important. You've become a hot issue for this city. You need to state for the record what you're trying to accomplish. My actions state that loud and clear. Think about that exclusive. You need to manage that image before someone else decides to manage it for you. What is happening to this damn city? You've got a new supporter in me. Thanks again. So are you here to stop this Mr. Freeze? Save Ferris Boyle? Are you here to stop these maniacs? What could this man possibly want from Ferris? You got Boyle. Come in. Don't do this. <laughs> no way! you out of here. I... I heard about you. I have no quarrel with you. Then you crashed the wrong party. Freeze? 
What do you want with me? I just require a moment of your time. Let me go! Help! Help me! Need some help! You'll never get through us! Looks like Freeze isn't the only one with a cryogenic weapon. This door is frozen shut. I'll need to enter the ballroom through the balcony. Freeze is gone. One of Penguin's goons will know where that chopper's going. How the hell's the back in here so fast? Don't matter, no. We banged for the trash the place, and our frozen friend made his escape. That's mission accomplished in my book. I too. Time to count up our loot and bug out. Is he taking Ferris? I, I don't know. I promise. Do you have any idea how many of your friends I sent to the hospital on Christmas Eve? Look, one of Penguin's dealers. He's stolen out the weapons Freeze gave us. He must know. We were supposed to meet up in South Gotham. You can meet up in the emergency room instead. with our friend. Targeting someone like Ferris Boyle. It's sickening. I know you'll bring him to justice, sir. I'll see this one wheeled into Blackgate on a gurney. A2, dispatch. Confirming that code 3. Looks like these anarchy fanatics are taking advantage of the lack of police presence down here. Roger, A2. Continue to monitor. Do not engage without backup. <laughs> No chance of that. I should deal with those anarchy followers. But first I need to track down Penguin's dealer and find out where Freeze has taken Ferris.
two. That's a ten four. Tell the good. It's me. It's me. Be careful, moron. Do that again, and I will shoot. Penguin's dealer is the key to finding Freeze. I should scan this area for clues that might tell me where he went. They're in temporary cryostasis. I'll need my thermal gloves to safely release them. Whatever this substance is, it's slowly shutting his systems down. Putting him into cryostasis, I won't be able to safely remove him from the ice without the thermal gloves built into the XE suit. The officer just chanced upon Penguin's men. He wasn't equipped to deal with this cryotech, but the cryo gun was leaking. If I hurry, this trail will lead me right to Penguin's men. Then I can make them tell me where this tech came from. Alfred, Penguin's men are using cryogenic weapons to encase innocent people in ice. I'm going to need the thermal gloves and the XC suit to break them free. I'll get to work immediately, sir. Any idea where these weapons are coming from? I'll get that answer when I catch up with Penguin's dealer.
Where's Freeze? You think I know? You plan on celebrating the new year in traction? Okay, okay. He, he made a deal with Penguin. Weapons in exchange for some stiff. Uh, uh, Ferris Boyle. He's in Gothcorp last I saw. You're lying. Gothcorp doesn't make weapons. What? No, I... Uh, Gothcorp, I swear. Look, I've got the entry codes. I'll take those. It doesn't make sense. Gothcorp involved in weapons tech. There's got to be more to this. Good thing, boss. What are you going to do with me? You? <laughs> Assuming your friend keeps cooperating, I'm sure we won't have to do anything, you know, drastic. Those men were armed. How'd you do that? Where are they taking Ferris? Mr. Boyle? They, uh... They're heading to the propellant research wing. These guys have been raiding the whole facility. Do you have the codes to this security door? No, I don't have clearance. But my boss does. A bunch of them took him to the organics lab. Through the lobby. I'll make sure they don't hurt your boss. Get yourself to safety. My boss has the codes you need. Those goons have them in the organics lab. So shy all of a sudden, huh? What happened to that spirit of sharing? I... I'm cooperating! I'm cooperating! I know, I know, but we all got jobs, see? And, and my job is to shoot you if I don't think you're telling me the truth. I told you there are no weapons here. It's just plants, tissue research. Yeah, you said. Then... you believe me? You know what? I... <laughs>
go first. Over here! We need backup! you on GNN. You just saved my life. You have codes I need to access the propellant research wing. I do. Here. Take them. You're going to save Mr. Boyle, right? It's not safe inside Gothcorp. You need to get out of here. Don't worry. I won't be hanging around. And, uh, thanks, you know? Not just for me. For Gotham. to propellant research. Unauthorized access detected. Alfred, how's work on the XC suit coming? Slowly, sir. I'm encountering ice formations impeding my progress. The thermal gloves would certainly help you with that. I'm working as quickly as I can. Keep me posted. Fitzy to show. You know, I can't wait to see you explain this brilliant plan the penguins face. My boss has the codes you need. Those goons have them in the organics lab.
I don't have access to this door. I need to find another way into the propellant facility. Stage one fueling complete. Docking process initiated. I'll get what he's given you. What's behind this door is of no interest to you. What I'm interested in is the weapon I would throw. I know you're holding out on me. This will not end well for you, Commodore. Oh, I think you're confused about what exactly it's about to happen. As soon as you show us that big fish roll, my balls will blow it open. And if that doesn't... I'll be sure to blow your precious coat right out of Mr. Boyle and Brady. You got what was promised. Why does he need Boyle? Boyle's got codes he needs to access some kind of super weapon. And now you let him have it! That ice is the only thing saving you from getting the beating you deserve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, you ought to save our friend Mr. Boyle, yeah? But you'll never break through this ice. Gorthor has a device. It's uh, uh, like a drill. A cryo drill. Tell me where it is. I had my men bring all our uh, acquisitions to the My Alibi nightclub. For safekeeping, of course. Then you better hope your men are still at my alibi. If I want to break through this barrier of ice, I'd better get to the My Alibi nightclub before Penguin's men decide to relocate. Danger. Critical failure in stage two. Fueling process. Emergency protocols in effect. All those assassins are still ain't Emergency. Propellant research may compromised. Initiate evacuation procedures immediately. Without the XE suit, I'd never survive in that cloud of bio vapor. Warning. Critical failure in the research wing. Please evacuate. Emergency 
Danger. Cryogenic reactor has failed. Containment breach in progress. Gotta fix it. Why? I'm no cryo engineer. I'm just a guard. You wanna break with that? You better figure it out. Your friends. They busted the security system on the exit to the lobby. We can escape. No one's escaping till we get the pay. That's why I can't let you. A guard, an engineer, or a damn snow cone vendor. Fix this situation, or well, my friends and I are gonna fix you. Understand? Okay, okay. Just, just let me think. I'm getting you out of here. Thanks for getting me out of there. What are you gonna do now? After I've recovered the cryo drill, I'm coming back here to save Ferris. But isn't Freeze gonna try to stop you? With any luck. Alfred, what's the status of the XC suit? I've just finished loading it into a drop container. Good news. I'm on my way to my alibi to recover a stolen cryogenic drill. Have the Batwing drop it there. It's on its way. Incoming, sir. gloves should help you deal with most ice you encounter, sir, and the suit will provide protection from cold and cryo vapor. I just hope its bulk won't slow you down. The honeycomb structure insulates against extreme cold without increasing weight. It won't slow me down a bit. We were gonna take a trip someplace warm. Hey, and then you parked our getaway car in a handicapped spot, so we lost the score that was supposed to pay for it. One screw up, and I gotta spend the whole year reliving. I'm getting a new partner. You're getting a debt. Don't do me any favors. I can use a thermocharged batarang to bring that ice down on top of those thugs. You. 
If I thermocharge a batarang, I can use it to knock out that frozen security box. Exactly. You stole a cryogenic drill from Goth Corp. Well, yeah, but it ain't here. Big one said to sell off the parts. It's in pieces. Where are they? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Just don't drop me off a roof, okay? Maybe next time. Sir, your map has been updated with the locations of the components you'll need to rebuild the cryogenic drill. Thanks, Alfred. I'm on it. How much longer we gotta be out in this stupid, stupid weather? Penguin said to wait for his call. He's setting something up with a buyer. Yeah, but he ain't called. You don't think... I mean, you don't think Freeze would hurt us. I would doubt it. This guy ain't human. He everything. Huh? Now you're in. Everybody, get over here now! Hey, he's still here!
Shepard. I've assembled the cryo drill, but it requires some kind of superconducting fluid to operate. Ah, here it is, sir. An organic supercoolant used in an experimental lab run by one Victor Freeze. As in Mr. Freeze. It seems too great a coincidence to ignore. It says here that Ferris had Mr. Freeze's lab shut down. If he's a disgruntled employee out for revenge, then this is about more than just stealing weapons tech. Uh, Freeze's lab is under quarantine. Some kind of accident. I'm on my way back to Gothcorp now. to evacuate this lab of cryo vapor before the lockdown protocol on this door is disengaged. He can't get this. Not while the lab is in cryo vapor. I thought somebody was supposed to kill that son of a bitch. You got the first switch. We got a plan beyond the usual. Shoot him to hell. The lab's still full of cryo vapor and the fans ain't working. I think we're safe. We managed to get the fans back on. That'll suck the vapor out of that room. Then... Danger. Cryogenic reactor breach. Please evacuate. Now's our chance. Get in there and blow the hell! A thermocharged batarang could break up the ice encasing that vantage. Wait here. 
up with a bunch of damn cream puffs. Ah! Give away your position. I got you now. I got the son of a bitch! Find a bastard! Search everyone! to evacuate this lab of cryovapor before the lockdown protocol on this door is disengaged. There's more going on here than a simple accident. This security guard's skin has the same blue coloration as Freeze's. I should set up a crime scene. Data analysis indicates that he died from heat stroke, but the control room doesn't show signs of overheating. This is some kind of crystallized chemical residue. Traces lead back into the lab. Trail ends here. I should scan for more evidence. Two men struggled. One of them ran out of the lab. That would be the dead security guard I found. These palm prints are a match for Victor Freeze. He must have watched the security guard die.
Freeze scavenged what he needed from various prototypes to build himself a super-cooled survival suit. Extreme pressure built up inside the tank when ice sealed these outtakes. It appears that this guard was frozen by the cryo-vapors from the resulting explosion. The evidence suggests the guard was frozen before the tank ruptured, perhaps by Freeze's cryocannon. These DNA traces are a match for Victor Freeze. Spatter analysis suggests a blunt impact. Someone assaulted Freeze with a weapon. A cannon was knocked over and fired. When the tank exploded, it released a plume of cryochemicals. The plume enveloped Freeze and the guard, but the shockwave knocked the assailant clear. I need to find that weapon. It may have evidence I can use to identify the assailant. DNA analysis confirms the gun was used to bludgeon Victor Freeze, and fingerprint analysis shows Ferris Boyle. It was Ferris. Something was wheeled through this fluid, possibly a gurney. The fluid must have frozen almost immediately for these tracks to have been preserved. Freeze was secretly doing research on Huntington's Korea, but this is a cryogenic weapons lab. The test subject was Nora Freeze. Now I know what happened here. Boyle hired Victor to help advance the secret cryoweapons program within Gothcorp. In exchange, Boyle agreed to devote Gothcorp resources to finding a cure for Nora's Huntington's. But Boyle was more interested in how Victor had managed to put Nora into cryostasis. When Victor realized that Boyle had no intention of following through on their deal, he decided to do the Huntington's research himself. But Boyle didn't like that. The cryochemical cocktail altered Victor's metabolism, as well as the guards. Boyle escaped ahead of the plume and had the lab quarantined. Victor survived, but he knew that leaving the supercooled lab would kill him. So he built himself a suit and utilized an organic supercoolant to keep his core temperature sub-zero. All this violence. He's just trying to save his dying wife. The supercoolant Victor uses in his suit is the same fluid I need for the cryo drill. Alfred, send Gordon the evidence I've gathered on Boyle's crimes. I'm sorry, Master Bruce. I know you had high hopes for what Ferris could do for Gotham. That doesn't matter now. Victor's plan was never to kill Boyle. He needs Boyle's security access to get his wife out of Gothcorp. That's all he wants. And now, you're going to stop him? I have to. And are you still going to need that gurney? I am. But not for Victor. You know what I'm gonna do when I get out of here? I'm gonna have candy pour me a nice hot bath. And then I'm gonna drown you in it! Uh, I'm trying, boss. This ice is tough. Oh, you completely and utterly dead skish. Get over here, you nasty bugger! Put your scrawny little neck in my head so I can strangle some sense into you! Boss, you gotta calm down. We'll get you out of there. Somehow. Are you waiting for a Hey, you punches! <laughs> 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 
gonna get me all this damn iceberg. You're good right where you are. But, but you can't leave me here. I'll freeze to death. Not my problem. Oh, so you come back to gloat, have you? Oh, I'll hang you with that bloody cape. You hear me? Come on, Batman. Uh, you got the price. Yeah. Name it. Make your life a living hell! You hear me, you pointy ass freak! Stalling and the cold will do it for me. Victor, you have to let him go. I'm taking my life. You can't stop me. I know the truth, and so will the police. Boyle will face judgment for his crimes. It, it was an accident. You don't know what you're talking about. What? Nothing matters, do you understand? Nothing but my Nora! You've endangered lives all over this city. Nora would never have wanted this. No. What she wants is to live a long life in the warmth of the sun. Her hand in mine. Because of him, she'll only feel the icy touch of a man whose emotions run as cold as the blood in his veins. Now get in here and find the Batman! Sir, you need to find the control panels for those cryogenerators and disable them. Oil on an arm bargain. None of this violence would have been necessary. Gotcha. 
He's escaped. Escape. Where are you? Fool. 
Power off. Containment failure in capsule one. Prime subject Nora Freeze in danger. No! If I can get underneath him, I can take him from below. Cryogenic containment failing. Prime subject, Nora Freeze, in danger. Kill him. Thanks for doing the heavy lifting, man. But you shouldn't have stuck your nose in my business. And here I thought I was going to have a problem. Explaining what happened in your lab. I mean, the police are never going to look at me after what you did. And with this bat freak dead, there won't be anyone left to say otherwise. Cryogenic containment failing. And that just leaves you. Please, you can save her. You just have to bypass the fire. Oh, Victor! She died! Oh. But I'll keep you alive long enough to see her go! No! Oh. Breaking news out of North Gotham at this hour where protest has turned to celebration. Under extreme pressure from Gotham's citizens, Mayor Hill has just announced his resignation. While Hill has not ruled out a possible run for re-election in the new year, his resignation means that Peter Grogan will likely not be the next police commissioner of Gotham. Speculation has already begun about who the new mayor will appoint as commissioner, with many pundits naming GCPD Captain James Gordon as the frontrunner. And now to South Gotham, where Vicki Vale brings us this live report. Thanks, Janine. I'm standing at the corporate headquarters of Goth Corp, where Captain Gordon has confirmed that Goth Corp CEO Ferris Boyle has been taken into police custody. Police report that Mr. Boyle stands accused of manslaughter, extortion, and attempted murder. Shocking accusations given that just earlier tonight, he accepted the Wayne Foundation's award for Humanitarian of the Year. Also in custody is the notoriously elusive underworld crime boss Oswald Cobblepot, better known as the Penguin as well as a Gothcorp cryogenicist, Victor Freeze. Mr. Freeze is being held under heavy guard at Gotham General, receiving treatment for an undisclosed medical condition. Quincy Sharp has suggested that Mr. Freeze is yet another example of the type of criminal that needs the specialized care that only Arkham Asylum can provide. Police credit these arrests to solid police work, but this reporter suspects the vigilante known as the Batman had more than a small role to play. On a personal note, I owe Batman a debt of gratitude for rescuing me from almost certain death earlier this evening. So, thank you, Batman. For all of us. Back to you, Janine. Thanks, Vicky. The Batman continues to be one of the top stories this holiday season. So as we here at GNN wish you all a happy and safe New Year's Eve, we'll leave you with just a few of the comments you've made about Gotham's caped crusader. I was surrounded. Next thing you know, bam, boom, kapow! The bastards are all on the ground, KO'd. 
I didn't even see him coming. Oh, it was all a blur. He just whooshed in out of nowhere. Listen, I'm a cop. I can't condone what he does. But I can be grateful he's doing it. Oh, he's real all right. I got the bruises to prove it. He's real, he's ruthless, and there ain't nothing in the world that's gonna stop him. <laughs>